Right. Hi there. Welcome. Hi there, you have no diggity and other people that may be watching this on YouTube or Twitch. Uh hi, welcome. Uh welcome to another eShop car booty. As in do that thing. That. Right, so it's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh if you're watching on Twitch, this might be Hey, hi there, uh, Carlos. Uh thanks for joining. So, uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, this is actually the first one I'm doing on Twitch, but this is the fourth one I'm doing in total, because I've done three of these in the past. I think the last one was in June? So basically I just try to do one of these whenever there's a lot of good game or a lot of games on sale uh, on the Nintendo Switch eShop. So today we've got a bit of a special one, because usually this thing would be like, oh, any games under £3. But today... All of the games I'm going to be featuring, in total, come to less than £4. All of them. Every single game I'm going to be showing today is going to cost you less than £4. <laughs> if, you, yeah, if you're so inclined, if you want them. But, uh, yeah, I've been alright, thanks. Uh, hey there, Murray Curry. Uh, I see your emote there. Uh, hopefully the restream chat is popping up. So, we're going to start today with... This little game called 1993 Shenandoah, which you've probably been hearing the funky music for for a little while. Uh, let me just pop onto my Twitch. I want to uh, tags because I'm going to change the tags on the uh, stuff. Just a second. Make the dashboard. But yeah, this game, uh, 1993 Shenandoah, is a cancelled Amiga game. It was cancelled back in the year 1993, and they found the source code, or someone, uh, the developers found the source code, and were like, hey, how about we finish this game and release it? And that's exactly what they did. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep the stream there, just so I can change the tags for the games. Cause at the moment, it doesn't seem to have one, which is weird because I could have sworn I gave it one. Category. Um, that's weird. I could have sworn I did it. There we go. Right. Should be tagged now. But yeah, um, yeah, so we'll play a little bit of this. This is, yeah, as I say, this is 1993 Shenandoah. This is a shmup. I've already beaten it, but I'm just going to go through the levels again because there are actually quite a lot of reasons to play this game multiple times because basically it's a shmup with a fully customizable spaceship and you can actually buy different spaceships as well. We we'll start in the first level. Is it? Uh, choose rope, planet or space. Hmm, okay, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, as we go in you'll see. Definitely got a bit of a... Uh, game's a bit loud. Okay, that's cool. I can bring that down. Out there, let us know if that's any better. Hey, I'm liking all the uh, custom. Uh... Yeah, let us know if that's better. Um, yeah, so you can buy or sell your ship. Like, are other ships somewhere? I don't remember. I love how I love the graphics and music of this. It is. Whoa! What's that? Hey! Okay, I don't know why there's a zombie on that, but hey, cheers for the host. I didn't realise it was gonna <laughs> it was gonna do that. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, hopefully someone follows at some point because then you'll see my custom one. Hopefully, interesting. Oh, those are the defaults. Ah, fair enough. I didn't realise I hadn't changed the others. But uh, oh yeah, it's up there. Now um, oh, the music just sometimes the music just kind of stops in this game. Uh, but what I was trying to say is, let's see if I can upgrade it currently. Yeah, I'll upgrade that a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love uh, how the um, the music and the graphics. I mean, it's based on a cancelled Amiga game. As you can see, my ship is quite powered up. I've, I've bought weapons. Basically, you can attach four weapons to each... Uh, 
to your spaceship, <laughs> essentially. Um, I forgot to mention, this game is £1.16 until November the 26th, so yeah, it's for that money I think it's pretty damn cool. It's not a very long game, I pretty much beat it in one hour without even going back to previous levels, but there is some stuff that I haven't done yet, there's like a, a last... I, I guess proper ending level that's apparently really hard that I haven't tried yet. Um, obviously I'm going to say that even though it's got Amiga aesthetic as all hell, there are elements of this game that would not be possible in the Amiga. I mean for starters it's widescreen. Also all these little particle effects are something the Amiga probably couldn't do this smoothly but yeah. Um, so what you want to be doing in each level is collecting the currency that pops out as well because then you can obviously upgrade your stuff. Yeah, I set up the alerts, but I haven't actually set up custom ones yet, so I'm just getting like basic, <laughs> the basic default zombie pixel man. <laughs> but uh, I, I did set one up for followers, so there's that. Yeah, I would say definitely try this one out. Uh, as I say, it's not a super long game. And it definitely feels like an Amiga shmup, and I don't mean that in a bad way, but I also mean that in if you've played Amiga shmups. Like, specifically it reminds me of um, Project X by Team17. It really gives me that vibe specifically. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just the way it... Uh, both the audio and the way that sometimes it feels like there's not a lot going on sometimes. Like there'll be no enemies about for a little while and then... I don't know, I think it's got a bit more structure to it than that game had. The thing with Project X on the Amiga was, or like the Amiga CD in my case, was it um, It kind of felt a bit proceed, it, it felt a bit random, like you'd go through a level and for like 20 seconds there'd be nothing and then suddenly there'd be 20 enemies just flying. Um, but yeah, I really dig this one, I've had a good time with it. Um, as I say, all the games we're playing today, in total, I can go back into the shop now, right? so I'm so inclined. Uh, let's, what else could I upgrade? I guess I could upgrade one. Uh, there's loads of different... well, uh, there's quite a few I haven't even tried yet. Maybe I should try a different one, just to see what this is. Bouncy. Let the ricochet effect work. Oh, you're in. Okay, let's try that one. I just about have the money for that, so... And you can move where these are as well. Basically, I've set up my spaceship so it shoots in all directions. Because <laughs> when you start the game, you're literally just shooting forward, and that's it. It's just a basic shot forward. But um, enemies come at you from every angle, and they'll, like, jump over you, or they'll walk back and forth across the screen. So you, I've set it up so basically I'm shooting from basically every direction. <laughs> or almost every direction. I haven't actually got one going backwards at the moment, which I thought I had, but maybe I swapped it out. Yeah, 38 followers, not bad. As I say, this is also streaming on... This bit of video is you have to go through like these little barriers, but you have to go through the ones that have got the thinner lasers. The changes you're going through. A bit odd. There you go. Um, I suppose another... One little issue I've had with this game, as you probably noticed on the shop, is sometimes the music just stops working, and sometimes the sound effects just disappear as well, which is a bit strange. I think the game's going to need a little bit of a patch for that. Oh, also, you've got like this little shield thing that's kind of like sort of our type of thing, and you rotate it with the shoulder buttons. And obviously, if those little shield pellets get shot, then they disappear. But yeah, I'll play a little bit of this. Um, uh, basically, I want to stream for roughly four hours so I can uh, raid Murray Curry afterwards. Um, I think he's going to be playing some more uh, Steam World Heist tonight. So yeah, I'll try and stream up until around there. So yeah, when I first played this game, I didn't actually realise it was originally supposed to be an Amiga game. I thought they were just going after that aesthetic and completely nailed it. I was like, oh wow, this really looks and sounds like an Amiga game. Because there is a demo for this as well, so if obviously you're on the fence about paying £1.16 for a video game, then uh, there is a demo for this as well, so you can try it out. But as I say, it's so cheap at the moment, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't even worry about it. Um, 
But yeah, I tried the demo first. I had it on my wish list for quite a while. And yeah, and then um, while I'm here, I, I I tend to mention this every time I do uh, one of these streams. But I'm going to highly recommend a website called DekuDeals.com. Basically, DekuDeals.com is specialised on showing you offers on like the current prices of every game on the Nintendo Switch. And if you sign up to it, you can set up both a wish list and a collection. So basically, any game that's on the website, you can just add it to your collection, put down how much you paid for it. And you, any games on your wish list, you can like list what the maximum you pay for it is. And what they'll do is they'll email you when the game goes on sale. And yeah, that's gotten me to spend a lot more money than it probably should have. Oh, hi there, uh, Ninzo. Ninzo. What was it? Ninzo Jin. Ninzoi Ninja. Sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Yeah, Steamroll House tonight. Sweet. Uh, let us know if the restream chat is popping up as well, because I haven't actually seen it pop up yet. Uh, thanks for joining us. Um, this is a live stream I like to call eShop Car Booty, which is basically a car boot sale for Nintendo eShop, uh, Nintendo Switch cheap games, basically. So I'll be showing the prices that they currently are and for how long they are that price, <laughs> basically. And yeah, in the case of today's one, it's a bit of an unusual one because normally I pick games. I, I usually try to aim for games that are under four pounds. But today, every single game I'm going to be showing combined is under four pounds. So if you bought everything I'm playing to get today and you didn't even use like uh, Nintendo points or anything, all of these games would come down. Oh, can't see the chat. Oh, okay, let's have a look. Uh, that's interesting showing. Let me just do a test. Oh yeah, it's not coming up. That's interesting. Uh, let me just check that real quick. Uh, I'm not sure why it's not. Could be. Get that. That's the problem. It was working when I started. Ah, there we go. Right, do enough test. Test. There we go. Right, cool. Got it. Move it up a couple pixels. There we go. Right, that should do it. Not quite sure why that didn't work before, but yeah. Um, yeah, as I say, uh, normally I would just be picking games that are under under four pounds, but today they are all under four pounds combined because there's a lot of dirt cheap games on there at the moment, and it's. Kind of ridiculous how cheap they are. They're probably... No, they are the cheapest games I've ever seen on a Nintendo eShop. Uh, whether they're good games, we'll get to that. But the fact that they're that cheap, I just bought them anyway. Because they're eight... Well, I'm going to spoil it. <laughs> I just spoiled it. I just spoiled the surprise. <laughs> uh, I almost said what it is. But yeah. <laughs> Basically, a lot of the games are extremely cheap at the moment. Like insanely cheap. So I picked space this time, so it's like you do like this little bonus bit where you teleport into the planet, I suppose. I might try that extra hard level just to see. I mean, it's kind of a spoiler. It's literally the last level in the game, but I might uh, try it. Because I will admit this game is a little bit easy, uh, as I say, as I'm getting smacked repeatedly by asteroids, but like, I didn't really have much trouble. I, I think I may have died twice throughout the entire game. Yeah, exactly. Like, until like this week, I was convinced that like, I mean, I have actually literally seen games that have been 100% off before, so obviously you're not going to get any cheaper than that. Uh, there has been a couple games that have basically been reduced to nothing. These are not nothing, but they they may as well be nothing. In fact, I use Nintendo points, so they did actually cost absolutely nothing. But we'll get to those because I want to go through the two the two pricier ones first, and then we'll get to the uh, get to the uh, 
the cheap, the really cheap stuff. And I'm like, I still think for the money, for your money, this game is worth every penny, easy. Like, especially if you're into this kind of thing, and especially, especially if you grew up with the Amiga, and this kind of game was your bag back in the day, because it's certainly worth for me. Well, in a way, uh, I feel like uh, with. With the Amiga, I was a little kid when we got one, so most of the games I played on it were either platformers or, you know, kids games. <laughs> In fact, we got our Amiga... The, the main reason we got an Amiga was for the educational software at the time, but also, like, the kids games as well. Like, for example, our... The reason we got the Amiga we got, the bundle we got, was because it had a Simpsons game with it, even though it was fast with... Bart first the space for the internet, it was actually really cool. But uh, obviously I didn't know that at the time, it was just like, oh it's a Simpsons game. Aaron is obsessed with Bart Simpson. <laughs> Let's get the Amiga with Bart Simpson on it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it also came with like Lemmings and oh, I'm trying to remember what other games it had with it. Pushover I think it had, the puzzle game with the Quavers dog in it. Like the other one with the ants. Oh, hi there. Here I got the milk and the... Oh, oh that's one. That's a caramel tart as well. Big Big potato is stronger than he looks. He likes to equip his ship with dangerous gadgets, but where the turbocharged pump can Big potato? Mm. <laughs> I think you'll see why he's called Big Potato in a second. Because he's, um, a butterfly? Yes. Ow! Uh. Because it's literally a big potato. <laughs> it is literally a big robotic potato. No, I was thinking of the junk maker's filth, but yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Absolute filth. As your mum described it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Just kind of hanging out at the back there. Oh, I didn't realise these little bits of he's debris were also. Yeah, he is a bit. Yeah, yeah, I think I might have to equip a, uh, a weapon that shoots backwards because the bosses are like this. I have to keep like cycling around them. Oh, there's a shop. Congratulations! Even that font is straight out of like a bit that brothers game. <laughs> Yeah, like chaos control or something like that. 14 out of 15 areas cleared. Yeah, so there's one area I haven't actually been to yet, so I'm not sure if I should go to that now. Change out. I don't think it goes backwards. I could have sworn I had one backwards. I just can go forward. It depends if I've got the money as well, but I don't. Alright, well, um, there was a, there's a proper, um, like, um, honeymoon. Smiley moon? It's got a face on it. No, like, you know, like a... Like, you know, crescent, ah, there moon. We go. crescent moon. Upgrade. Okay, I've equipped that one. Okay, let's go with that. I like this chill music on the load screen as well. Yeah. Really funky. Go forest. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm just shooting in every conceivable direction. <laughs> Pretty much. Which, yeah, is nice. Oh yeah, you can get bonuses for kill streaks as well. Oh, this is proper a movie this song. I think I like them. I oh, know, I guess I can't change the levels. Because I'd be tempted to just crank the music up on this one. The music's kind of one of the highlights for me. But as I say, when I first played this game, I didn't realise it was actually originally an Amiga game. Um, this game is on Steam as well. Um, on there it's called 1993 Spaceship or something generic like that. I'm not sure why it has a different name on Steam, but there we are. I think maybe it came out earlier and maybe this is like a... A later version of the game or something? I don't know. But yeah, we're going to be trying out basically the cheapest games to ever be on the Switch that are not free, you know? Because <laughs> um, there have been games on the Nintendo Switch that were given away for absolutely nothing. I mean, I could feature those, but technically you're not spending anything on those, so there isn't really much point talking about free games, because you don't get free stuff at a car boot sale, not generally. <laughs> So, uh, ooh, with popping noises, green blobs. These like plants versus zombies plants. Yeah, that's totally. Enough. I uh, I'm a bit worried about these things that are pooping 
the top here. They're probably like dripping poo out. Ugh. Gross. So yeah, this game's got quite, quite a mix of uh, like spaceshipy levels, but also like kind of like planet levels that are a bit more nature-ish, I guess. Oh yeah, I've got to get through that in here. Oh, that didn't work. Get a bit hectic here. Skulls like that. Ah, don't poop on me. Please don't. <laughs> weird, weird little like Minecraft noises going on. We've got little pops like. Is uh, my microphone loud enough, by the way? And is there any like background noise when I'm speaking? Uh, See if I manage to eradicate that this time. I have to keep tweaking my settings. Till, uh, what would I do? Oh, it made the shop shut up. Okay. Not actually sure if I want to buy anything. I'm not even sure if I can afford anything. Alright. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff to unlock eventually. So I can imagine I'll probably play through this game a few times to try and slowly unlock. Yeah, I think it sounds good. Ah, cool. Cheers. Yeah, there's lots of little, like, <laughs> Minecraft noises, <laughs> or, you know, like, popping noises that you'd get in a casual game. <laughs> you know, like a, a, a farming game or something. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know what it is, but i Even the hubs on the top and the bottom is just, like... I feel like if you told me this was a cancelled Bitmap Brothers game, I would believe you, because, aesthetically, it is totally Bitmap Brothers. Yeah, like a Xenon 2 Mega Blast was one of their games. That kind of had this kind of look to it. But yeah, as I was saying, when I when I first had my Amiga as a kid, I didn't really play stuff like Turrican or I did play Cannon Fodder because we had Cannon Fodder. And we played Sensible Soccer and stuff like that. But we and we also had Mortal Kombat as well. On the variety, we had the original Mortal Kombat on Amiga. But otherwise, we didn't have a lot of, sort of like the big games. We mostly had educational games, platformers, point-and-click adventure, stuff like Goblins, uh, Rainbow Islands, you know, Parasol Stars, Bubble Bobble, that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and licensed stuff like Captain Planet. And all that. Oh yeah, that came with that bundle as well, Captain Planet. I played that on a movie stream once before, actually. Uh, yeah. So... Oh, 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 oh. Good. Freaky embryo looking things here. Ah! Oh, they fly at you. Oh, God. Ooh. This level's a bit spooky and gross. This level's a bit more salamander than uh, Gradius, I suppose. Salamander, the one that's got all like the bodily, the body, the body horror. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, jeez. That I guess it's the boss. I don't seem to be getting as much money from ships as Ow! Oh, I died. I think you get so many lives in a level, and then you basically have to do the level again, or you go back to the map, I think, if you do do the lives, but... Even birth everywhere. Earth in all over the place. Oh, I do have bombs as well. What am I doing? <laughs> bombs that make the screen go white for a second. Make your eyes hurt. Oh, really? Raiding coming. Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, well. You know what? I'm going to try this last level. I think it's this one. 
and see how it goes, because I haven't played this one yet. Some weapons. Oh, the Shenandoah. The Duel of the Stars. I'm afraid Nesta already managed to activate the machine before we captured it. You are, I only have to stop it. Be careful, S. But, why is it an S? <laughs> Be careful, S. Is he joking? <laughs> Raid? Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to have a look on Twitch because I can't see what's happening. Hey! Ah, oh, thank you, uh, Shredding Salamander, for the raid. Ah, oh, cheers for that. I'm looking, I'm on the restream chat, so I can't actually see. Yeah, there we go. I can see it now. Ah, oh, cheers for that. Uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi there, uh, other people. <laughs> yeah, cheers for that, uh, Shredding Salamander. I'm... Oh, you won. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am playing a game called 1993 Shenandoah, and this has gone pretty bullet, bullet hell right now. I don't think this game would have worked on the Amiga with that many bullets. At least not at that pip, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a game called 1993 Shenandoah, and this live stream is called the eShop Car Booty, where I basically feature games that are massively reduced. Oh, Jesus. Massively reduced on the Nintendo Switch eShop. This is really hard to avoid. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this last level is uh, woo, blimey. Yeah, I don't think I'll be beating this one straight away. I might have to get better weapons. I'm barely actually hitting him at the moment. These bullets are. This bullet pattern is um, whew, quite complicated. Ah. Uh. Oh god, no. Well, I've got one more life. Maybe I should stand up. Maybe I should camp over here a little bit. I think he was shooting. Oh god, he's shooting suns at me now. And you can probably see what I mean about the sound effects. It kind of feels like sometimes they just kind of go really quiet. For why that is. I feel like sometimes the sound is a little bit odd. Game. At least it's not like an actual Amiga game and they make you choose between music and sound or sound effects <laughs> like a lot of Amiga games did. At least you get both. <laughs> I I should be grateful. <laughs> yeah, I... Wah. I mean, there are ways, but my spaceship is quite big. You can get smaller spaceships, so maybe I should equip a different spaceship. You died. Oh, okay, so apparently I've died in this game 25 times. So when I said I only died twice, I was lying. Or just forgot. Oh, okay. Uh, how about Let's play this level, I guess. Start straight. Damn it. Yeah, cheers for that. Ooh, caramel tart. Yes, please. Right, can I change my ship? Oh yeah, I have got this one. Maybe I should go in there with the small one. If I equip it... Can I upgrade it? Oh, no I can't. Alright, we'll, we'll go in with the smaller one. Oh, this one only holds two weapons though. Ah, yeah, that's a disadvantage of it. Definitely don't have enough money for that. Or that. In fact, I don't have any money for anything. Yeah, okay, let's go back to the other ship. I forgot that this one only holds two weapons at a time, not four. Whoops. Oh, that ship now. <laughs> Alright, never mind. This one's a lot faster, I'll say that. Obviously, it has a stronger hitbox. Dark Souls rip off Death Scream right there. Huh? What? Yeah, the explosions. Oh boy. This definitely looks like a Gradius level, this one. The right. Cave bits. <laughs> Mountains and stuff. Oh. Yeah, let us know when you're basically bored of checking this game out and I'll move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is actually the most expensive game we'll be looking at today. Ooh. <laughs> it's 
Yeah, this one's like one pound sixteen. Um, but the game we'll be playing next is probably one you may have heard of, like because it's quite a well-known indie game. It's got quite a lot of awards, and after playing this hectic schmuck, it, it'll be a nice to chill out with for a little bit. Now. Uh, I've been streaming about half hour, so I'll probably make this the last level I play of this one. And I'll move on. Yeah. I'll get some cash. Some of these levels have a lot of cash in really like nefarious places you have to sneak up on it so you don't get killed while you try and grab it. Follow like the lasers going off. Like crystal lasers. Money over here, so I'm gonna carefully just grab it. Yeah, ow. Missing point. Okay, no worries. Uh, thanks for the lurk, either way. Um, yeah, we had dinner a little bit early today. Oh, we had um, dinner a little bit early today, so I can basically squeeze this stream in for as many hours as I can. I want to feature quite a few games today. As for. Oh, get, a bit, get a bit hectic now. Three. Have one more ship, so we need to survive this level. I haven't really got the best firepower at the moment, but this thing I'm shooting forward is basically what you start with, what you default on. It's like your ship has that no matter what. Like, oh, maybe shop, uh, shop shut up. Uh, how much is this one to upgrade? Or maybe I'll swap it out for something a bit better. What other... I haven't tried this one yet. Let's try this one. Rome clone. Yeah, let's go with that. That's like. Yeah, once I've beaten this level, game over on this level, I'll move on to the next game. Sentinel approaching. Sentinel warning. Oh, this could drill. I don't think I've got the right ship to this level. <laughs> These small ships are good because of the small hitbox, but yeah, it only holds two weapons, so having four is a lot better. And these. Yeah, so sometimes you want to move a bit slower, don't you? I just think it's maybe a little bit too twitchy for this area. I think these are money as well. Yeah. Wheel with a gun on it. <laughs> this is a wheel with a gun on it. And a kind of tank that's just a wheel. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry for whoever's having the pilot bag, they're probably just spinning inside it. So, <laughs> Doing it spins on the inside too. Oh, I just realised I forgot to set up the thing that shows how many views I've got at the moment. But this is also showing. This is also viewed um, on YouTube at the moment on Lucky Hits. So uh, I'll just have whatever one's nearest <laughs> for my face. <laughs> that in a sec. Have some bread physics. Yeah. No, I was quite not working for that. Heckish. Yeah. Oh. Haha. 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 As for all the cave dwellers, his weak spot is his eye. <laughs> for all cave dwellers, I'm not. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna this boss now. Yeah, he his eye occasionally. Sting him in the eye and he's like, ow, oh, my eye! Why do I keep opening my weak point? <laughs> then we can, you know, like just coming around, just trying to slam into you. Again, like the Gradius boss. Well, really feels like a Gradius boss, actually. In some ways. Oh yeah, but... Let me continue from the boss. Oh, okay, I'm level. Yeah, I suppose. I'll try and shoot some of this first. Out in here. Ah. Abandoned. Pick the core! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I could just do this. It works. So it does move about quite a lot. Oh god, I shoot the actual cannons. Oops. There we go. Oh, there we go. Ah, my eye! Oh my. Yeah, bullets. Ah! Yeah, I, I, I really like the pixel art. The pixel art in this. Fan of this clone of drone weapon, amazing. Yeah, so that is 1993 Shinandoa. I don't know why, but I find shmups like this kind of chill, <laughs> quite relaxing. Even though there's a lot going on. <sighs> Credits, there are people that made it. One of them's on Twitter apparently. <laughs> there you go. Music's pretty great. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I pressed B and that showed up in the corner and made a funny noise. Whatever that is, a little heart thing. What is that? I can't quite tell what that is. Is that like a little Easter egg? I don't know what that does. Well, either way. Correct. Crack on the next game. Oh, this is the secret to the game. Yeah. So, okay, and put this one on. So, uh, I'll also edit the stream info. Yeah. Done. Hopefully that updates. So yeah, this is Absu, which you may have heard of because it came out on the everything, and it's a bit of an indie darling. It's a lovely, chill, sea, sea exploration game. Uh, I did already have this on Steam. I got it in a humble bundle years ago. But, as you can see below, or to the left of me, <laughs> this game is currently £1.49. But you're going to have to hurry with this one, because this one's only available till to, for that price until tomorrow. In fact, if I look on Death and Deals right now... Actually, I should probably set this game low. Oh, wait, it's three. Dang, it's three. Uh, this one ends in 30 hours, according to Deku Deals. So you've got just over 24 hours to uh, get this one. Oh, wow, I actually went straight into the game. Oh, the swimming game. Yep. <laughs> That's basically what it is. But yeah, it's like 90% off at the moment. Absolutely bonkers. Um... <laughs> 
So yeah, I already had this on Steam, but I thought I might as well buy it again because one, it's cheap, and two, nice to have a handheld version of this. Like if you're out and about and you just wanna, you just wanna play something that has no, like, yeah, no game over screen, no, uh, yeah, you can just swim about, look at fish, ride on whales and stuff. Yeah, what's doing there? Oh, this is the end of the last level. Um. So yeah, about this uh, Switch version, um, basically, it's, I don't know if this will pick up on the stream, but the game in Doctor Mode runs at 720p at 30 frames per second, and when you play it in handheld mode, it's like 540p or something like that. Basically, this is one of those games that was really hard to squash down onto the Switch. like. They had a hard time getting it, but it's perfectly playable. I'm gonna say that if you haven't played other versions of the game, this is perfectly serviceable. It looks just as good as the other versions, just not as high frame rate and not as high resolution. But um, yeah, um, flat price for one pound fifty. You do the uh, rollies as well, <laughs> and you could also do little echo like uh, twist stuff as well. I'm going to go into the next level now. I'm, I think I'm on the fifth level now of this, I think. I think there's about 12 levels, something like that. As you'll see, uh, the frame rate mostly keeps up, but there is occasions where the game's like, Help! Help! This is too much for me! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, as I say, I've got this on Steam, and there it runs in full HD at 60 frames per second. But also, my laptop sounds like a jet engine while I'm playing it, whereas my Switch, not so much. <laughs> so, you know, nice to have it here, you know. Oh, okay, so we've got some uh, different types of sharks in this one. Cool. Interesting. I won't play too much of this one, because this one's more of an experience than a game. It's like, you pretty much just swim from place to place, and it's all about just seeing this stuff happen. Let's see if we can grab onto one of these. Cancel and ride some of the animals, some of the airfish. Bigger ones anyway. Come here you. Yeah, there. There we go. Come on in here. Oh yeah, it's a whale shark. Okay, cool. Look at this freaking game though. I know this is like a lower resolution version of this game, but it's still bloody beautiful looking. <laughs> like, I was playing it in handheld last night in bed. Like, even with that kind of low resolution that it runs at, it looks stunning. Like, it didn't really bother me too much. See if there's another one of the vegetation things that find out where the fish are. We want some of But yeah, this is just a nice little game to just relax to, basically. There's no, like... There are, like, little collectibles here and there that you can find. And stuff like that, but... Mm. I get that, that game company vibes. Yes, definitely. Um, I was reading about this... Uh, I was reading up about this game, and apparently their main influences were... Echo the Dolphin on the Dreamcast, but without, you know, getting lost all the time. And, um, Endless Ocean on the Wii, which is a game I absolutely adored. Like, I love Endless Ocean on the Wii so much. Um, so I'm really glad that, you know, someone made a, a fancy indie darling version of Endless Ocean, essentially. Okay, so, you know, this sort of interesting kind of low poly art style. So there is some puzzles that we've got to solve as well, but they're all pretty simplistic. They're not, they're not complicated or anything. Okay, let's make that up. Or, uh, quite different to the levels I've done before. Endless Ocean, yeah, I absolutely love that game. I don't know how well that holds up now, but when it first came out, and the fact that you could was one of the few Wii games that let you use 
put MP3s on an SD card and then just customize the soundtrack. No, I just put all the, the most chill music I could find and just added it to it. Put all this chill music to it. I've got like little cat ears for some reason. I'm a, I'm a cat diver. Oh. Um, a big fish up here. I wonder if I have these ones. Yep, yeah, okay. I've got, two, I've got two little robots with me at the moment as well. I like to think of them as options. <laughs> They're like little options. Whoa, this one moves quite fast. Can't get rid of these. Get off me! I didn't quite catch what it was called. Oh yeah, it's one of those. Kalag. Whatever it is. I can't pronounce it. I saw it. Whee! Yeah. Let's see what we These robots, their only real purpose is sometimes you'll find like seaweeds that you can't get through and they'll cut it for you. Um, yeah. I don't know why I've got two of them. Also, when you do the communication thing, they repeat it. Nothing too cute. They make little cute noises. Let us know if this game's too loud or too quiet or whatever. These games are going to vary in volume, probably. Oh, let's do Poly. If you roly poly and then dash at the right time, you get like a little super dash. I'm kind to like your feet light up. I'm going to eat some of this. I'm actually really surprised there isn't a VR version of this. Can you imagine this in VR? I mean, this level has actually been quite subdued compared to a lot of them, but... The way I'm playing this at the moment, I don't think I can go back to previous levels at the moment. Ooh, big whale! Big whale! I'm a big whale! What's got a baby? A little baby. Me baby. I have a little swing with it, I'm not in control at the moment. Oh, wait, this one. I'm controlling the camera, but nothing else. There's all these whales. Like Fantasia 2000, about the weird googly eyes. <laughs> oh, they're gonna eat some fishies. Yeah, I probably won't play too much of this one on stream because I feel like this is something you have to experience yourself. Like, just have headphones on in the dark and just experience it, really. Ah! I almost forgot. Oh, I thought I was about to be eaten then. <laughs> Please. Yeah. Yeah, right in the eyes. Give me a look right in the eyes. Just Have the whimsical music. Oh, there's plenty of whimsical music. This whole game is whimsical music. <laughs> yeah, this is quite a subdued level compared to some of them. I might actually go into the meditate mode and see if it lets me go into previous levels, because there were some levels that were just floor dropping. <laughs> Ah, there we go. We've got super dash here. What are these? Oh god, is that mine? Ah! Oh, Jesus! What? Oh, okay, that's new. That's new. I don't like that. I don't like you. You're, you're not nice. Kind of mines. Oh, okay, this goes places then. This, I almost feel like I'm spoiling stuff here, but... I like this game goes in different places. Oh, I've made some goblin sharks pop out of the ground. I'm just little spawning pot. I can grab onto it. Don't hurt me. Leave me alone. Go too near to those. Bad. 
As I say, I don't think there's like any way to like die in this. All the bones here. Ooh, this is getting a bit spooky now. Getting a bit spooky. There's all these uh, mines, I think. That off. They, they're making me think of Breath of the Wild for some reason. Oh, so there's some angler fish in this one. Hey, angler fish. The little light bulbs on their heads. What a cable here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Jeez! Okay, I wasn't expecting all this. Oh, look, it's. It's, a, it's, electro, it's electricity, it's man, it's evil man, <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting Dark Twist. I'll go back to one of the more pleasant levels if I can <laughs> after this one. Obviously, getting to the point where the game will start to go in a different direction, I guess. They already set that one up. Uh, you can see it gets a little bit framey sometimes. Uh, this switcher. As I say, if you want like a handheld version of the game, it doesn't seem like a bad. Oh, I think I have to go to the other one of these. Yeah, I don't like these uh, triangles of electronic doom. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. No, 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 no. Leave me alone. The one I did. No, it's not good. Yeah, a lot of the puzzles in this game are just a case of follow a track that will take you to the thing. Oh, they all dropped. Hey, it's stuffed. Triangles of doom. Evil triangles. No one likes you. Oh, there's that shark again. Shark keeps appearing in levels. I like that little uh, extra dash you can get. More meditation areas in the river. Oh god, is it? No, 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 no. Leave me alone. I think this game's older than Breath of the Wild. I think this game's been out for quite a few years actually on other things. Oh no, the shark's the shark is trapped. Being electrocuted. Help him. Push the thing off him. Push the big evil triangle off the shark. Okay. Please don't eat me. <laughs> I'm not bleeding or anything. Ah, there we go, there we go. Yeah, give him, give him a stroke. Really great right shark. Give him a little stroke. And then, rest it. Yeah, this level is quite. This level is quite a bit different to what all the previous ones have been. Oh, speaking of collectibles, right there. I think there's one of these in each level, but there might be more. Four. I'm not entirely sure yet. I've probably played this for just under an hour so far, so I haven't played a lot of it. And I'm going to assume yeah, there's probably a couple of hours of content here. Ooh, yeah. Bigger whales. Hello, big old whales. Grab onto these ones. Yay! Oh, went through it. Ooh. Oh, it's a sperm whale. <laughs> Get inside it. It's inside. Doesn't have much on the inside, apparently. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm, oh, look at those teeth. Oh, nice. What's these gnashes? Ooh, big gnashes. Ah, he's gonna eat me. <laughs> he's eating my screen. In the face. Ah, oh. right. Stop taking the mic. Can't mate. Where am I? I'm not sure if I was supposed to stop off here or not. Honest. Kind of pushing me in this direction. Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's one of the meditate thing. There's these weird, like, shark dog statues. 
just sit on these and you meditate and then it will let you scroll around and look at all the animals that are about. Ooh, jellyfish. Oh, there's one. Oh, it's a hatchet fish. They're really freaky. I've got a lot of lights in them. Another one. They're like robots. Weird looking fish. Hey! Angry fish. Uh. <laughs> I love their weird gobs. Oh, wow, I didn't see these. Giant squids! Oh, look at that. Wait. I didn't know there were giant squids here. Boring enough. Anything else about? I want to see if I can grab onto the uh, giant squid. Well, I haven't got my little robot buddies anymore either. Turn my arms again. Oh, there he is, there he is. Grab onto the squid. Oh, I can do it! Ah, oh, nice! I can ride the giant squid! I've got a squid now. Not a kid, but you are a squid. You're a very big squid. Oh, look at his eye! <laughs> That's quite cute. What big googly eyes. Looking at me like, what are you doing, mate? Get off. What's that down there? Just over there. Okay. The dark collectible. Oh, it's another collectible. Oh, so that confirms there's more than one in each level then. I wonder if the jellyfish hurt you. Last time I tried, I don't think they did anything. Oh, no. Do they shock me? I need to be peed on the uh, I touch me. I think they let me touch it. Why you get me in? I can't dash into them like Echo the Dolphin. Alright. Eyes like the eyes like the moon outside out. I have no idea where I'm going. I have to grab onto it. Oh, it's pushing me away again, so no doubt that way. Uh, Ooh, that's... I'll do that. Damn, what's it? That was so dark, I'm having a bit of trouble figuring out where to go. Wait, isn't this one I already did? Right. Oh, hang on. It's just pointing me to what I need to do. Thanks, shark dog statue thing. I think I need to go that way. Oh, it's the end of the level. Oh. Alright, I can find another level. The uh Oh this bit was all I always find that the game seems to save when you save you at the end of a level rather than the start of a level, or it doesn't do back here. Time to meditate. Act. Let's go back to the store. Go back there. So we can see other things. I presume this means I haven't tried this yet, so I'm not sure if this means I can just play the level. I guess I'll find out. Ah, okay, maybe it is just a where we look at fish. Hunt Marvin. Oh, okay, maybe I can't replay the levels then? Yeah, I don't think this is letting me replay the level. Oh, interesting. You know what? That's the... 
go back to the main menu and let's just play one more level with this and then we'll move on. We actually have quite quite a lot of games to go through tonight. Put me back here. The light does that. Either way. But yeah, I'd say if you want to experience this game in its full, you know, like the best way you can, this is probably not the best version of the game to buy. Because obviously, it's kind of still looks the part, it's still a good way of experiencing the game, but if you have other means, like if you have a, a, a nice decent computer, I don't think you need a super powerful computer, just a decent And yeah, it's dirt cheap, so like if you, for example, I already had this on Steam, I can play it on my PC if I want. But it's nice to have a handheld version, <laughs> and if they ever make a more powerful Switch, maybe it will run a bit better on that as well. As I say, yeah, one pound fifty. One pound forty nine, it's not even one pound fifty. I'll do another level I suppose. Do one more level. A squid level, with the kid level, human level. This level will be a bit more colourful because the last one was really dark. <laughs> but this one's really pretty dark as well. All the levels I played early on, I can't do a new file either because if I do a new file, where I reset all my progress, so I can't have multiple saves. First levels were just so colourful and pretty. Thousands of fish in one of the areas. To the point where the switch was like, oh, help! Help! Through here? Okay. Ooh, we're getting to more ominous evil boats of it. Oh no, not these things again. Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh, look at this fucking Transformers looking thing heading towards. Ooh, no, 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 no. Coming here. We're going into a big spaceship now, apparently. Ooh. Eh. Very unicron. That's what I was trying to think of. Something from Transformers. <laughs> So much for, oh, I'll show you how pretty and colourful and lovely this is, and then as soon as I start playing it on the stream, it starts to get into evil levels. Ah! Things that shock you. Oh wow, this level does look cool though. I love the colour fit, the colour design of this game. We'll go from one area to the next, and the colour scheme completely changes. Look like I'm looking into friggin' that lady in now. Getting a bit freaky. I did not expect this, honestly. I thought the whole game was just going to be happy, happy fish. It's no longer happy, happy fish. Evil triangles in Metal Land. What's this in? Oh, there's some fish here. Decided to do with the little robots. Are the little robots part of the evil plots to make evil plot things happen? Okay. Are these actual fish or are they like robots? Oh, this is me. <gasps> Am I a robot? Does that mean I'm a robot? Because look, those are not normal bones, they're not human bones. Ooh, I feel like I'm I'm spoiling a cool element of the game I'm aware of. Probably should have started a new save and just started again. Oh, 
I really don't like these things. Luckily, they're not super ultra sensitive, as long as you don't go too close to them. Right. Whoa, triangles everywhere! <laughs> Evil triangles everywhere. Uh. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> that looks absolutely incredible. <laughs> There's hundreds of them. No, no! Ah, oh, the noise that makes is horrible. Ah! I'm oh, dead. I'm oh, good. Go down. No, no, no. I'm gonna try to float over them. I'll presume I need. Ah! Oh, there's a. Uh... Oh, thanks for getting that spam bot for me while I'm getting blown to pieces. I did not expect this to go in such a creepy path. They all sound like me mechanical versions of those yip 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 guys from Sesame Street. Yip 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 yeah, come on. Get through the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. I presume it's a good hole. I hope it's a good hole. Ugh. Oh, jeez. This is this is starting to resemble Thumper a little bit. <laughs> ah, the shark. What's the shark doing? Oh, Christ. This is a boss. Oh, no, the shark. Shark sacrificed himself. Oh wow. Shark mate, no! <laughs> no, shark mate, you were my mate, shark mate. I know you ate one of my little droids once, but. Oh, is that that level? What happened to all the lovely fish? <laughs> as soon as I start streaming this game from where I left off and it's like, no, game's evil now. Game is evil. Evil triangles. Shark mate getting killed. Oh wow, I actually am a robot. Okay. Ooh. I'm so I mean, I know I'm quite blocky and I have cat ears. Kind of fake, just eyeballed face, but yeah. I use a robot now. Yeah, uh, apologies if I've spoilt this <laughs> in some to some extent, because like, obviously if you haven't played this game, you just think, oh, this is like a happy, this is a happy, happy thingy game. But it's, it's becoming a bit more like Echo the Dolphin now. <laughs> I'm expecting giant aliens to show up. Oh, shark mate, get up, shark mate. Dead. I'm a shark, I'm a shark, I'm dead, I'm a shark. I'm totally spoiling the mood. Oh, okay. Fear for Oh, it looks really weird now, that all these robot bits hanging out. Oh, I'm really, really quite excited to play the rest of this now, honestly. I'll, I'll, I'll get to the point where the game assumes it saves and where. Uh, Look at that. I've got lily pads here. Do some diving. Let's do what I. One of the only things I ever used to do in the Echo game on the Dreamcast and just keep diving. My shark mate died and even triangles are taken over in the world, but Oh, I wonder if I can come out of the water this time. Every time I've tried to come out of the water, it doesn't happen. I can come out of the water! I can walk around! This is the first time this has happened. Oh, this is weird. <gasps> little turtle! Oh, ah, little turtle! It's one of those stripy ones. I think I've seen those at, uh, in the zoo. Little 
you run underneath me? Can I stroke you? Can I stroke the turtle? Okay, he's just gonna walk in between my legs. Alright. I can do a little jog as well. Did mate shark mate. <laughs> yeah. Poor shark mate. I mean, it explains why I talk in does explain a lot me being a robot, I suppose. Despite, you know, the obvious cutbacks they've had to do to make this game run on the Switch, it still looks amazing. Honestly. Like, the art direction just does it. Sploosh. And yeah, I was playing the Steam version just before I bought the uh, Switch version, to comparison say. And yeah, it doesn't... Outside of the frame rate and the resolution, this still has... For example, the same amount of fish flying around. They haven't cut down how many fish are. Get out of here. Catch it. Man, that was good. Homemade Mapo to tofu. Oh, interesting. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen this game yet, Murray Curry, this is a game called Absu, and it is currently one pound <laughs> fifty uh, for the next, I think it was like twenty nine hours. <laughs> so basically, by the I guess midnight tomorrow, it will be back to full price. So I think it's like ninety percent off. It's it starts as a pleasant swimming around looking at fish game, but it's kind of taken a bit of a dark turn. <laughs> It's kind of gone a bit Echo the Dolphin, it's had a bit of a dark turn to it. Yeah, this game is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Um, as I say, if this game is as cheap on, say, the PS4 or PC or something like that, I would probably recommend that version over this version. But while this version is this cheap, I'm not going to complain. It's nice to have a handheld version of this chill ass game. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out when there's going to be a save. <laughs> there were quite a few games. I was going to say free the Echo. Yeah, apparently this is one of their main influences. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Middle. Go to. Let's go to where the manatees were. Where there were manatees. Yeah, this game is awesome. I can see why I got so many rewards. This is one of the levels I did earlier, I did this one last night. It's just going to let me look at the fish, I don't think it's going to let me replay the level until I beat the game, I presume. But yeah. Zoom, over the walls. Ah. Oh yeah, nodders. Zoom. Zoom around and look at all the types of fish. Galloped hammerhead. Oh, so. Cow nose ray. Oh, yeah, there's a little tiny stingray. Red one. Silky shark. These are silky sharks. Silky, silky. Oh, yeah, Mambo, yeah. <laughs> he hasn't got little options, has he? I think with that, I think we've showed off enough of Absu because I feel like even just where I dropped in, it's kind of spoilers of what happens with the plot. It kind of goes places. But uh, yeah, if if you wasn't sold on merely the fact that it's a game where you swim around and look at fishies, you might be sold on the fact that there's more to it than that. <laughs> you might be sold on the fact that it goes places. Where did it save me? Oh, cool, it saved me close to where I was anyway, so that's fine. Right, so, move on to something considerably even cheaper. So, those were the two most expensive games. Right, so, next off, we're going to play this one called Space Elise Force 
Space Elite Force 2. Find the that. And as you'll see, this one is currently 44p. And there's actually a Space Elite Force 1 as well, and that is 22p. 22p. <laughs> I think it's reduced, uh, again, I think it's like 90% off. So that probably means it was like a couple quid or something it, uh, at full price. But yeah, 44p. Uh, again, let me know if the sound levels are good for this one. Uh, so this one's got online leaderboards, that's cool. This is another shmup type thing. Oh, let's try this arcade mode, because I haven't tried this yet. Oh, there's a co-op as well. So there's two of these games. I've only bought the second one because I was looking them up and... Oh, upgrade quite a bit. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Ah, so this arcade mode is actually letting me pick different stuff. Got HP. I do. So, oh, so this arcade mode gives you like a set amount of points to spend on the loadouts. That's cool. How do I? S oh, okay. Right. So, yeah, as I said, there's two of these games, and when I looked it up, people were saying both of them are pretty similar. Oh wow, this is a lot more powerful than I was used to in the other mode. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. Yeah, basically, there's two of these games. One of them's 22p, one of them's 44p. I decided to just get one of them, because apparently they're both very similar, right down to the point where they have the same bosses and some of the same enemies. The only real difference is the game modes, and apparently the second game is just better. It has better quality of life improvements yes you most likely do because as soon as I started playing this I was like hang on <laughs> super hang on this is very similar to a game I already have yeah this game is kind of I don't want to call it a ripoff because I don't know the context of when either games came out but this feels like a clone of Steridon I think, it's, I think the game's called Steridon it's very similar. If you played Steridon, you pretty much know what to expect with this. It's very much the same style of game. But it's 44p. Ow. So there's that. Oh yeah, I've got these stuff weapons that I've been aiming stuff. Well, that's the one, yeah. Basically, this is very similar to Steridon. If you haven't played Steridon and you pick this up, you'll very much enjoy this, I think. But if you have played Steridon, all this game's kind of going to do is make you want to play more Steridon. <laughs> Honestly. Like, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it's so similar to that game that it may as well be that game. But obviously, if you go back to that game, I would say that game is better than this one by quite a bit. But then it also costs considerably more <laughs> especially at the moment it's still full price at the moment um i think i got it for like two pound something at some point but yeah this is 44p you can get both games in this series for less than a pound right now so with that in mind i am not going to complain because this is perfectly competent this is a perfectly competent little schmuck for literal pocket money Like, especially now I'm playing this arcade mode, this is a lot more fun than the uh, standard mode was. Because the standard mode you have to slowly upgrade your weapons, whereas this mode lets you basically just add a load, in, add a load out straight away. And I'll see if I can get an online ranking. The thing with Steridon as well is it has daily challenges, kind of like Flunky, which makes it worth going back to every day. Try and get on the... Uh... I played the... Uh, that... As soon as I played this, I was like, oh, I'll go back to Steridon and see what it's like. And yeah, I went on the daily theme, and only nine people... Oh, it's a bit slow down there as well when the boss shows up. Even the bosses kind of look the same. They look very similar. But yeah, the uh, daily. Only nine people had entered the daily, and I was eight. <laughs> there was like a Japanese player that got like 
300 billion points or something like that. That was in number one, but... But yeah, completely ignoring Sterigan. Like, you know, if you haven't played Sterigan and you want a super cheap schmuck, I don't think you can go wrong with this, honestly. No, it's, it, it feels like it's getting a little bit framey here, but... I honestly cannot complain for the money. Like, I'm not... This is still enjoyable. Ow. I've got a special, I don't to do that. Ah, there we go. Brrr, laser. That killed it dead. Even the way the level transitions and you have like a little light speed thing, this is totally that game, but oh. <laughs> we Okay. 44p! <laughs> How often do you get video games for 44p, let alone on, like, the Nintendo Switch? <laughs> it doesn't happen often. At the most, most games that I've seen that drop really cheap are usually about... What, 89p at the least? Tends to be the case. I rarely see games go below 89p. So 44p is pretty crazy. And 22p for the other game. I might even buy the other one just because it's 22p, even though it's apparently very similar to this. I keep to use my uh, other weapon tool. Ah, oh, it's a health up. Take that, I've only got 11 health now. Out 20. So uh, the way these two games differ, like the first one and the second one, is this one has a boss rush mode, whereas the other one has like an infinite mode, which is kind of similar to what this is. I don't know. I haven't actually bought the other one yet, but I probably will anyway. Because if it's just more of this, I'm fine with that. I don't mind paying what, 66p for two games. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't mind. <laughs> See if I can get on the leaderboard. I mean, for me, shmups are kind of one of those things where as long as it feels good to play and looks decent enough, I'm happy. <laughs> like, I can play games like this and not really care that it's not a, a classic or like a hot, amazing shmup. It's just, it's just fun to just things. Like all the bullets happen <laughs> and avoid all the bullets. It's got some pretty fun patterns in it. I will say it does feel like uh, it's kind of chugging occasionally though. It's not affecting the controls any but it does feel like there's a little bit of slowdown occasionally but I suppose that's not unusual in shmups. I mean hell one of my favourite shmups of all time is Steel Empire and that game riddled with slowdown <laughs> on the Mega Drive. As long as it's not horribly, horribly unbalanced, I can enjoy most shmups. Yeah, same. You know, like as long as I'm like, like it's not like just cheap and horrible and annoying. This doesn't seem cheap, horrible, and annoying. This is perfectly playable. So I must admit, I'm enjoying this mode a lot more because I've got tons of bullets. <laughs> and I'll, I'll save this for the boss. I don't know, warship. What was it? Ah, have it. Have my big laser. Wow, that's almost done the bossing in one go. Nice. I think I like this arcade more than arcade mode more than the default mode. Honestly, especially if it's got online leaderboards, that might encourage me to play it more. <laughs> I wonder if uh, any of these super cheap games are at the top of the uh, charts now. I bet they are. I hate, I hate to keep comparing it to Steridon, but even the soundtrack is similar. <laughs> like, it's... yeah. This does feel a little bit, can I copy your homework? In some ways. <laughs> but it's fine. Totally fine. 
it's so cheap it doesn't even matter. I have that. Ah! I keep thinking those are my bullets, but they're theirs, because they're the same colour. Oops. This music's alright. And then there was another shmup I played on one of these uh, eShop car booties that was like 89p and I loved that game, that was fantastic. Again, it didn't look amazing. It had a pretty basic, sort of pre-rendered 3D look to it. But it was fun, it was ridiculously fun. <laughs> I don't know if that game's been on sale since, but uh, what was that game called? Uh, Over... Overdrive or something or other. God, it's going to be a hectic now. Whoa. Ah! I died. Garage. Oh, I've got two points. Oh, okay, so I could spend more. Oh, I already had that. Wow, they're still going off. They're still kicking off, even though I've... I'd have to restart though. Let's see if I've got an online rank. Oh, you want to quit? Yeah. yeah, it's not soul. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, did I get on the online rankings? Let's have a look. The boards. Oh, there I am. I'm 25th. <laughs> Just underneath Fug Mike. I want to try and beat Fug Mike at the very least. I'm Patrick. Oh, this is Patrick. Or Robot. Wow, those are some pretty good scores up the top there. Oh wait, that was the wrong, uh, the wrong leaderboard. Campaign mode. Uh, yeah, let's try Boss Rush Road real quick. This gives you ah, oh wow, I'm back to the default weapons. Lovely. Oh, okay, you can use the shoulder buttons for the weapons as well. I like when games do that, because sometimes I just sometimes I just want to hug the uh, shoulder buttons rather than keep pressing the button on the front of the Joy-Cons. Sometimes it's nice to just hold these down. Yeah. Ah, so this is the default weapons. Those, I guess. Get on the leaderboards. I'm glad this has online leaderboards because that's probably going to encourage me to play it more. Actually, if you've got online leaderboards in your game, I'm more likely to play it more just because it gives me something to do. <laughs> like to try and get up on the leaderboard. The fact that I already got 25th on the arcade server, so hopefully that leaderboard will start getting a lot more players on it. While well, it's 44 <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy the first one as well. well. Not on stream, but I'm gonna go grab the other one as well because it's literally pointing to the. If it's more of this, I'm fine with that. <laughs> it has a separate leaderboard as well. I can see this being something I'll come back to occasionally for that money. If anything, I'm gonna say this is one of the better games of the insanely cheap games at the moment. Oh, okay, so I've got one. That. The next boss. Right now. Oh, six. I've got loads of time. I don't know why the game slows down when the tech comes up, but there we are. I'm going Is the volume of this game alright, by the way? <laughs> Quiet. Oh, is that him? I could definitely see myself popping this on for five minutes in handheld mode if I'm out and about. If I, if I, if I fancy it at the time, you know. 
It's one of those pack it on for five minutes kind of games. While it's this price, I, I, I don't see why not, you know? Now, I am enjoying this. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not enjoying it, because I am. <laughs> it is quite fun. One help. Get my pop. Let's upgrade. Fun. Yep. Alright. We'll see. Oh! Oh, that was my thing. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these bosses are kind of similar as well, but then again, Steradin was the same, the bosses mostly looked the same and did similar things. We'll see how far we can get through this, I guess. We'll start getting to some of the other games that are even cheaper! <laughs> If any. I haven't even checked to see if it's actually running on YouTube, but it should be. Right. I haven't even checked. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Yep. Yep. Ow! Ah, oh, one of those little homing missiles snuck up on me. They already did that, but yeah, got them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably play this until I game over. Oh, okay, my health reset. Heavy warship. It's another one of these things. <laughs> A bigger. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to mention, you can hold L and you can do slow strafing as well, so you can move around slower, which is quite handy, actually. I haven't really been using it, but it's there. So, like, you can get some slower movement in if you need it. Ow. Not that I'm really doing much good job of showing it off, but it's there. <laughs> you can move slower if need be with weed through bullets. I, I like when schmucks add that. It's always a nice thing, a nice little addition. Ah! Bullets. Ow! Oh boy. Puking bullets on me now. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tag the game, didn't I? I wonder if it's on there. Uh. Super LED. No? I'm spelling it right. Oh, space. I keep thinking it's super, but it's space. Space.
Yeah, oh yeah, it is. There it is. Alright. Good tonight. Okay. Out. There goes. Get it. Oh. Going. Go with that. Dead bait. Dead bait. Station. Oh, I haven't seen this yet. going on at the moment, but the music's good. The bus. Oh, it is. Warning. Going into a base. Warning. There's the boss in the base. <laughs> it's a big square thing again. I'm oh, wedged in a wall. Fun bullet patterns on happy. The game has fun bullet patterns. Look at that. Simple but fun. Most of these games that I'm tagging again don't have thumbnails on Twitch. I wish they would. I wish you could add your own thumbnails, or at least submit them for approval. But then I'd go through all these obscure games and make sure they've got artwork. <laughs> if I could, but apparently, um, I looked it up and apparently developers have to submit the thumbnails. <laughs> I could just wait. <laughs> well, I could get a big laser. Apparently the power's less on that, so... Oh. Oh, I've got three this time. Ah, I can get a special... Uh, I'll be off over actually. Uh, what's this? Some enemy shots are 10% slower than normal. An upgrade of gun in some fashion. Like that. Bullet patterns are fun. Yes, they are. They are fun. They're like little puzzles you have to weave through. I feel like that last, uh, the last um, main gun I had was better than this, but could be wrong. Ow! Ah! Oh, I'm down to five already. That's a good sign. At least the bosses are actually getting harder. Oh boy. Lasers. Why does some of these red bullets that are coming towards me look like a um, crush roller? Things you play in crush roller on the Neo Geo Pocket. <laughs> Don't know why that is. Like a little paintbrush thing. I didn't expect to be playing this for, long, uh, for as long as I had. I think that's a good sign that I am actually enjoying it. But I'm still playing it. I've just given up. How old are you? Oh! Oh, cool, I killed it. Killed it! Dead bait. Oh, grab those. I really want to get that big laser. It... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save these for the next uh, next time. Like, the next. 
I'll uh, hopefully destroy our. It's another square box thing. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's cute. That's fun and cute. Oh boy. Wanna get that big wanna get that big laser so I can just chip away their health really quickly. Gotta keep an eye on the time, because I've still got quite a few games to get through. Hey look, it's a square box. It looks like um, something you would install in your PC. <laughs> yeah, this is going to make the bosses go by much quicker. Joy of Joy Con, you don't have to have them scrunched up. The hands all scrunched up together. Ow. That will recharge eventually, that uh, special. Special beam cannon. Ow. Ooh, free health. Wow, you can take health from, from dying. Oh, I've got four this time. Let's upgrade that. Oh yeah, make it lazy. Make it eight seconds long. Yes, please. You get through these bosses quicker. That's all the better, isn't it? Yeah. This is little fry gates. Make it last longer. What's that? Drop. I have it. Yep, I have it. I don't know what it was, but I grabbed it. Oh, it's a little option. Wait. Oh, look at him go! He's really going for it. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it! Oh, he's really going for it. Look at him go. Cute little option. Just like, how about it? How oh, dare you hurt my master! Adorable. Oh, that's that. Ooh. oh no, he died! Ah, oh, he died. We we shall call him. Ah, oh, what should we call him? He needs a name so we can honour his name. But I can't think of a name for him. Jimmy. 
Jimmy Bob. Jimmy Bob. Rest in peace, Jimmy Bob. Rest in peace, little man. You, you put your all into it. Oh boy. Let's just wait this out. The thing is, sprites in these games are rather good. Yeah. I honestly, this looks fine. I would be pretty proud if I made a game like this, honestly. I've always wanted to make a game like this. I'll just up. This is kind of roughly how I would go about one as well. What else can we Tuck on our ship and make it last even longer. We'll certainly do that. Yeah, alright. <laughs> I will stop playing this soon. <laughs> I feel like I've been playing this for ages now, <laughs> which is probably a good sign in terms of its value. I mean, this game's pretty damn cheap, full price, let's be honest. Hey, he's back! Jimmy Bob's back! Look at him, he's like, yay! You saved me, I'm back! Yay! <laughs> oh, look at him! He's adorable! He's swimming around me, like, yay! <laughs> yay! It's like that little flying thing in Double Dragon Neon, but not as annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna protect him. I must protect him. Ah! Oh, Jimmy Bob! <laughs> Jimmy Bob, no! He didn't even get much chance that time. He, he, at least he had a fun time while he lived. At least he, at least he enjoyed his life. Swimming around me in circles. He had he had good times. Might come back later. Ow! Ah, I've got full damage. Those little oh, the bombs that are mines. Oh, but these drop the points. That's good. Can't press that one. I like when games give you multiple buttons to use as well for the same thing. Like, if you want to use the face buttons or the shoulder buttons at the same time, you can just switch between the two. I like that. I like when games let you pick. I'm just going to use the face buttons this time. Ah. Ah. I wonder how many bosses there are at this rate. Maybe it just goes around in circles forever until you die. That's a possibility. If it comes to it and people get bored, they probably are because most of the fuse have disappeared. Um, I'll move on. Three smart missiles. Nope. This increases the duration of each item by 25%. Okay, sure. If it comes to it, I'll just deliberately kill him and get on the leaderboard and move on because I feel like I've been playing this for ages now. Is it time? That's almost seven, so maybe we'll go to it again. Have other games to play after all. Yeah, let me get my laser. If you have lasers, I have a laser too. I'll just smack you in the middle with it. Ow. Yeah, if you, if you think I should just uh, deliberately get killed and then just move on. I'll probably play more of this in my own time and I'm probably going to buy the other one as well. So as I say, there's two of these right now. Best thing to do, go on the eShop, go to deals, uh, filtered search and then just search by lowest price and you'll see most of the games that we're playing tonight. <laughs> like straight away. Yeah, let's play something else in a minute. Let's kill this boss and then I think I'll deliberately die on the next one, because it seems quite easy. <laughs> I, I don't seem to be struggling for any of these bosses, probably because they've all got very similar... Oh! that has got mini-me's. And he's gone. I have a five again. Hmm. Okay. Increase your HP. Uh, I don't actually want to do that. I'm gonna just deliberately die anyway, because uh, otherwise I'll be playing this all night at this rate. 
Uh, let's get inside it. Oh! That's interesting. I don't seem to be taking damage while on the boss, even though I was. Oh, I am there. Go on. Do me in, giant square uh, PC extension like hardware. There we go. Right, time. Whoa. Was I playing that for 20 minutes? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I definitely need to stop. I'm glad I stopped now. Otherwise, I'd be playing this forever. <laughs> Was I seriously playing that mode for 20 minutes? Yikes. All right. Carry down the. This is like this is like a Sonic game when you got too much, too many points. Okay. <laughs> forever the countdown. Let's have a look at the boards. I'm 18th. Ooh. Okay, I've definitely got to come back to this, and I'm gonna play more of this and try and get on them higher on those leaderboards. Loading leaderboards. Oh. Is there any way for me to go up and down the leaderboard? Or... I don't think there is. Uh, nothing there is. Well, yeah, that's Space Elite Force 2. It's actually... When I first initially played it, I was like, uh, it's alright. But now I've played it a bit more, I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, this is alright. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's 44p. <laughs> They're the people that made it, just so people can see who made it. They, these are the people who made it. Right, let's move on, because it's only going to get sillier from here. It's going to get sillier. Can't go too far wrong. <laughs> yeah. As I say, you can get both games in this series for less than a pound on phone. I have one of them, but I'm probably going to grab the other one. Right, so let's do this one next. This one I've kind of had a bit of issues with in terms of playing it, but there it goes. I don't mean like it's broken, I just mean I'm very, very bad at it. Right, so, this is Uber, Ubermosh Black. This game is 17p. <laughs> 17p. <laughs> So this is a score attack twin stick shooter, probably you might have seen these on Steam because there's at least five or six of them, but two of them are on the Switch at the moment, I believe this is the second one. Uh, uh, um, and there's loads of different modes, so basically you get a sword and you get a gun, and all depending on the mode you might have just a sword and just a gun. Uh, you'll see what I mean. I probably won't be playing this one for long because I'm absolutely terrible at it. You've got swords. Uh, I don't have a gun. But the main aim, the main aim of this game, as it Absolute says in the corner, the it's quite loud, by the way, is to cut their bullets. So you're not really trying to shoot them. It is well, you can hit them, but it's not really worth it. Really, what you want to be doing is hitting their bullets back at them. That's kind of like the aim, and you're in it. In this one, you're in an arena. So if you go outside the arena, the game ends. Yeah, I think I've got it's starting to click. I've had to play this one for a while just for it to click. Because when I first started, I was like, what is happening? I couldn't even suss out what's going on. Because as you'll see, if I if I game over, the game just cuts straight back to the title screen. It doesn't say game over. It doesn't say here's your score. It just, it just ends. It just goes bump back to the end. Like that. And then we're in the title screen. It's it's weird. Um, oh yeah, I better change the... Uh, I'll change the uh, tag for this, I suppose. Because I want to get... I want to get better at this one. There's a lot of these on Steam. This is Evil Marsh Black. It wants to come up. There it is. None of them have artwork, of course. Oh, hey there, Dreamcastic channel. Uh, let's try one of these other modes. Maybe I'll play a little bit more of that mode. Yes, do some more that one. We are playing some insanely cheap Nintendo Switch games today. This game is 17 pence. I don't know what that is in cents for you guys, but it's probably not a lot. It's probably like 20 cents or something. I don't know if it's on sale in America as well. 
this is what my experience with this game has been like. Mostly low, I just die very quickly because apparently I have four lives, but your deaths are very hard to track. Like it's like a split second, like that, and that's it. It's gone. And now another one's gone. And now another one's gone. But yeah, the main aim of this is to bounce the bullets back at them. Oh, I didn't mode. So this one's no guns. Six respawns, so six lives. But the respawn is so instantaneous, you barely notice it. But it's just shoulder buttons. But yeah, the main aim of this is to not actually get close up. The best thing to do in this is to actually run away from them. But easier said than done. <laughs> I've already lost four of my lives already within seconds. And I've downed a one. And that's it. <laughs> it just, yeah. Oh, not on sale in the US it seems. Full price is $1.99. Oh, okay. So in this case, here in the UK, or here in Europe, it's seven, 17 pence. Uh, yes. Find a little bit more of this. There's actually two of these, so. And they're kind of similar, so I won't play too much of this one because I find the other one easier. But we'll see. I'll see if we can get a, a new score or something. I don't know if it has online leaderboards. I haven't really paid attention to that. I don't think it has. Ah! So you can get guns as well, but only in certain modes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so like, yeah, yeah, well, I'll gunner mode, so this is, oh, 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 there we go, I have a gun now, yay, I have a gun too. After 200 years, the blade saint returns to our spawn. Uh, it is an honor to be shredded by your skills. Where's the end? splatters of your holy blood. Did I pick tutorial by accident? Respawn and die again. I think I, yeah, I picked tutorial by accident. Because the tutorial just lets you run around and doesn't, like, yeah, okay. Back to having no weapon, no gun. Ah! Like, I think these games are hard by design. This is one of those games that's made to kill you in seconds. It's just, the first time I played it, I was like, what is happening? I couldn't understand why the game just kept... It felt like the game was just resetting itself, but it wasn't. I was just like, oh. What I'm saying is, I like the concept, but... Yeah, I really wish you could. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. Because you could do that on the Wii, couldn't you? You could gift games on the Wii, but you can't do it here for some reason. I really wish they would add that or something. Uh, what mode haven't I tried? So this one says no blade, so I should have a gun. Yay, gun! That's a nice change. Now I can actually just straight up shoot guys. Just don't let them get anywhere near you. Why do you help now? I've only got three help now. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, Jesus. These Joy-Cons really rumble when you, uh, do a bit more of that. There, you've got a chance to even try that. Ow! Ow! I looked away for a split second, then I was gone again. Come on! Are you supposed to last eight, what, eight odd seconds? Sometimes they just get right in your grill, and you just can't avoid them. This is more of an avoid em up than it is a shoot em up. You really are just trying to dodge everything. What's the warlock? Better gear. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's better. Got both. Nice. Okay. That's more like it. I can't hold the fire on this one. Oh, and I'm dead already. <laughs> ah! This is just kind of ridiculous how quickly you can just game over. screen does fill, fill up with enemies very quickly and I, I just took a hit there and I didn't even notice. This might be the best load low because I've got both weapons. But yeah. 
you've been playing some, I expect you to die lately. It's really good. It's basically a point and click adventure in VR. Use the items at your disposal. Ah, nice. I really want to get into VR. That's kind of like my next thing I really want to get into. Let's play this one a bit more. Yeah, I won't play this one too much because, as I say, there's a there's another one, and I actually kind of like that one more, mainly because it is not a limited space arena. You can just move forever. It's very similar to this one. Ah! Jesus. I guess I shouldn't be moving around so much. Maybe I should just focus on. <laughs> nah, mate. <laughs> There's that one where I had more stuff. Come on. It. Have it. Have it. Yeah, I like having both. Having both is nice. <laughs> it's so hard. And there's apparently a harder mode where it resets your score. Reset score and restart on... Oh, wait. Restart on classic mode. Yes? Yeah, there's no online rankings by the looks of it. Badges. Uh, I'm trying to fake heads or tails off this middle part of the screen. Let's go back to better gear. One. Let's see if that's different. Did I accidentally pick the tutorial? Again? Years, the yeah. Oh, wait, no, there were enemies. Never mind. Ah. Any enemies? After 200 years, After 200 the years. returns to our spawn. It is an honor to be shredded by your skills. These splatters of your holy blood. We spawn and die again. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I have as well because I really because I never bought a PlayStation 4, I'm really considering a PlayStation 5, just skipping PS4 entirely and going for PS5. Because it just runs PS4 four games better. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I must admit, I am tempted. <laughs> I'm tempted to get PS5 and PSPR. Depends on Black Friday deals, because obviously the PS5 ain't going to go down in price. Because it's new, it just came out. Well, it hasn't even come out yet. But um, if the PS4 Pro doesn't go down in price in any way, then I feel like I'm surviving a bit longer, but not really. Personal best, 31. Alright, well, <laughs> let's uh, let's go on to the other one. Let's move on to the other one. Because there's actually two of these on sale right now. That one was 17p, right? Let's move on to the other one. It has the exact same music. It looks very similar. It's a very similar game. Very, very, very similar. This one is called Ubermosh Sa Santicide. It's 8p. 8p. <laughs> Did I mention this game is 8 pence? That's like 10 cents. That's the cheapest game I have ever seen on a Nintendo Switch. Ever. Yeah, that makes sense. Slim model, yeah. I don't know how long that's going to be, though. This one has a lot more options. If anything, I think this is the better game, even though it's half the price of the other one. You get more stuff. Double strike, single strike, shredder. Single, double, triple. I don't know what any of this means yet, but there's loads of different options. Right, so I've got no gun this time, I've just got the... This one, where this one differs is there's no bounding box, you can just walk infinitely. I think this is the better game, I think this is like the fifth installment in the series, and Black is the second. So if you're only going to buy one of these, buy this one, because it's AP. <laughs> I mean, 
you may as well buy both because they don't cost a lot at all. One of them 17p, the other's 8p, is little pennies. But if you're only going to buy one of them, buy this one because I think this one's better. Moving all, I'm dying just so quickly. Oh, I've got a C rank that time. Uh, let's see what else I can do. It's the better gear mode in this. I'll be honest, this font work is a little bit hard to do. I don't know why I had it on before. Might be a few years. Yeah, I don't know if I can wait that long now. <laughs> Unless the PS4 Pro goes down dramatically over Black Friday. I mean, like, dramatically. I just don't see the point, because a PS4 Pro is 350 quid, and a PS5 is 450 quid. For the extra 100 quid, you may as well just get that. Enemies, bullets, and occasionally shoot lightning for reasons. Oh, I've got a gun this time. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Oh, I have. Oh, okay, so I can only shoot here occasionally. Yeah. And that's that. <laughs> what have I missed? Um, I'm currently playing the cheapest game on the Switch ever. <laughs> yeah. Um,. So there's two games, one called Ubermosh Black and one called Ubermosh Fantaside? In fact I should change the tag on that. Do that. One of them is 17p, the other one is 8, 8p. I really need a drink. <laughs> Go on. We'll get one in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is like a twin stick shooter. Well, there are free Switch games. I'm not counting free games. Free games don't count. <laughs> I'm not counting free games. This is the cheapest game that you have to pay money for, is what I'm saying. Uh, they're all right. I'm going to say these games are insanely hard. Basically, the aim of this game is to bounce bullets back at the enemy. It's so hard. It's so hard. It's so easy to game over, though. It's ridiculous. See, the game will just cut back to the title screen almost immediately, very quickly. Now I seem to be... I, I think the 8p game is better than the 17p game, if that makes any sense, even though they're very similar. Okay, I've got no... this is gun only mode. There's loads of modes in this one, which is nice, there's loads of options. It's an incredibly simple game, it's like something that you would be on Xbox. Uh, in the arcades back in the day, really. Um, but yeah, they're kind of... In terms of, you know, budget games, or in this case, insanely budget games, I don't think these are bad. I'm just terrible at them. As you saw, I just died immediately. I really want to know what all this stuff is. Double strike, circular shields. Oh, this one's better gear. Oh, I've got two swords. Nice. So you can sort of slot you can sort of sl if I can stop dying for two seconds, I'll be able to show you that you can slice the bullets back at them. That's kind of the main aim of the game. But man, these games are hard. Definitely doing better in this one for some reason. This one just seems easier. I think it's because it's more zoomed out and there's no like out of arena areas. You don't have to be you're not confined to a box like you are the other game. Ah Oh wow, okay. Steam has this one on sale. You can get the whole collection of nine games for one dollar ninety nine. That's what I mean, they're cheap everywhere. This game is renowned for being dirt cheap. <laughs> I think I think I have the first one on Steam. The one that's just called Ubermosh. I think I have the first one. I think I got it for like stupid money as well. Ah! I just wish I wouldn't like immediately die like that. It's really getting on my nerves. 
wonder what the difference is between hard boils. I'm assuming hard boils are just harder. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lasting like one second in that mode, so let's not do that. Uh, I really don't know what half of these options are yet. It'd be nice if I could, you know, not die instantly, wouldn't it? Ah! Sounds like he's doing unreal tournament voices when you kill things like Ah! Well, I feel like the best way to play this is just avoid everything, like run away from everything as much as you can to last longer. Ah! Even sometimes they come at you from every angle and you can't not touch them. <laughs> Three respawns. Oh, I get to choose a death connector. I mean, oh, I like the style of this game. I like the weird soundtrack and voice work. Did I accidentally go into the tutorial? No, where are the enemies? Uh, enemies? Not enemies, bullets! Yeah, where are the enemies? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. This mode seems a bit more manageable so far. There's actually, like, gaps for me to walk through. <laughs> Oh, okay, this is a bit more manageable. I don't know what mode I picked, but it seems yeah. more manageable so far. The soundtrack is actually quite good. Hungry. Very hungry. Ah, I actually did alright. Oh! It said event completed. Oh, maybe that was the tutorial. Did I accidentally press the tutorial? I don't know. I'm gonna say that was probably the, probably the tutorial because it was far too easy and it actually said event complete, so maybe it was. I feel like it's slowly clicking, but like you just go through so many games at last two seconds and then you don't really get a chance to even think. I feel like I'm doing better now though, slightly. Yeah, if you want to own every single game in the series, they're on Steam for next to nothing as well. If you really want nine very similar games to this, if you really can't get enough of Ubermosh, there are nine Ubermosh games. As far as I know, only two of them are on the Switch right now. But yeah. Ah! I got completely overwhelming. And yet I still live somehow. I don't know what keeps setting off that little lightning strike, it just keeps happening. Ah! Respawn core empty, yet again. I like this review on Steam. Pew pew slash slash. Yeah, pretty much, that's what this is. Pew pew slash slash. Pew pew slash slash game. Uh, I'm gonna play a little bit more of this and I'll move on. Ah! Do I lose health? Oh, I've got more health in this mode, that's what. That's why I'm lasting longer. Two of my health, 
way. Or be near something. Ah! No! Stop crowding around me. I need an opening. Ugh. Wait. You can just slice guys right up in their face as well, but it's not really worth it because they'll just take the health uh, part away. Down, down to one. Yeah. Let's go somewhere other than afterwards constantly. Whoa, slow down. Oh god. Ah! I'm starting to enjoy this. <laughs> like, just notice the audio sync on your camera is off. Uh oh. Someone else mentioned it. Anyone mentioned it up till now? Uh, let me just check that. So 650 there. It should be the same. So I've got them set to the same thing. Same delay. Yeah, they should be the same. Hmm, that's annoying. It shouldn't actually be out of sync. They should be right. Not sure why that is. That's too big. Any better? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I can do about that because I have actually set this to, you know, I've already set this up. Yeah, it is correct. I have got everything. The video is delayed. You speak before your mouth moves. I can't change anything. I have literally done it. It should be in sync. <laughs> There's no reason for it not to be. You're just going to have to lump it, because I can't change it. <laughs> it's not going to let me change it. Because I everything is up according to this in sync. So there's not much I can do. And I forgot to... I can't even pause this game. Uh, oh, that fixed it. Oh, okay. What did I... Hmm, okay. That's weird. I don't know why it did that. It shouldn't have been out of sync, it should be fine. I spent hours setting this thing up so everything's in the right levels, but whatever. <laughs> Apparently the more time you spend trying to get your stream perfect, the more it plays up, so... Yeah, I feel like this game's starting to kind of click. There isn't that much to it, but it's fine. It's, it's entertaining enough for 8p. <laughs> or, you know, $2 for 9 of these. I don't, know, I, get all of them. I don't know how much 9 versions of this game could vary, but, you know, maybe there's subtle differences between each one. I've got the two I have here. Quang, quang. Yeah, OBS does just like to mess with you sometimes, it really does. Alright, well, that's Ubermosh Uber Santicide. Let's have a crack at something else. Oh, apparently I'm rank S now. Oh, I must be doing alright, because. Or is that triple S, or is that just S? Either way, that's my score now. It's not bad. I just kind of wish this had online leaderboards. There is so much text on the screen, on this screen, I cannot read most of it. It's, I think those are achievements, but I can barely read that text at all. Anyway. Let's jump onto another game. Let's play this one. So, this is Nikki the Home Alone Golf Ball. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called. And it's also 8p. And it's that price until... Uh, 
September the 1st. Yeah, I really want to play those, the Thomas Wave Dreamcast games, but I have no means to play them because they require a hard drive thing in your Dreamcast, and I don't have that, so... Yeah, I haven't been able to play them. I've been keeping an eye on it. I've been watching as they all come out. But because you can't burn them onto a disc yet, I can't play them. Which is unfortunate, because I really want to play all of them. <laughs> they all look great. Um, it's kind of brilliant, actually, how the Dreamcast library is just getting expanded in this way. With, like, technically Dreamcast native games. Oh, they have. Oh, which ones? Oh, interesting. I didn't realise they'd already got to that point where they were putting them on disc. Oh, if that's the case, what I'll probably do is I'll probably wait till they've got most of them on, uh, as CDIs. And then I might do a stream for them, because, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> moving on to the thing at hand. This is Nicky, the Home Alone Golf Ball. He is 8P. You can customise your ball. You can put a sombrero on him. Oh, let's put that on him. The game has very dark lighting. Put a moustache on him as well. Oh, I could put a chain on him and all. 3D glasses. What is that? I can't even tell what that is. A hairdo on him. The lighting's so dark I'm having a hard time actually. Eh? Let's go with that. That seems pretty good. <laughs> right. So... This is one of those, oh, what is that game called? Getting Over It? Have you seen that game called Getting Over It? Where you've got the guy in like the canister thing and he's got a little stick and you have to, a hammer, and you have to climb to the top of the level without falling off and having to start all over again. This is kind of one of those. It looks like it has online leaderboards. It's oh, very odd. Oops. Back. And it has an auto it has like one of those robotic Microsoft Sam voices narrating that. It's kinda of weird. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I could get one of those SD card reader things, but I do think I want to eventually put a hard drive in a Dreamcast. Because I do have a Dreamcast that C D drive doesn't work at all, but it otherwise works. So maybe that one would be a good one to make into a hard drive one it'd be nice to just have one that is because i literally have like three broken dreamcasts over there <laughs> but yeah this game is also 8p hi nick good to see you are finally awake very weird now let's get back to business my character looks ridiculous we need you back to the golf club asap asap i am that voice from robot fee i am that microsoft sounding voice Yeah, it's kind of a golf game, kind of a platformer. <laughs> you can break, oh, break things. Oh, you don't remember how to get there? <laughs> that will be interesting. First cool spot. <laughs> yeah, if so. Out there. No. Oh. Apparently, to do a whole run of this game can take about an hour, but your score is based on how many times you hit the ball, basically. So apparently the top score is 157. I'm gonna tell you that's a hard score to get. It seems last night was a crazy one. Let me try to help you, or make things a little more interesting. <laughs> last time you came here, it was through the roof. Good luck finding it. Roof. Ah. So doing this in 157 shots. I feel like it's going to be very difficult because the first time I played this, and I haven't actually beaten it yet, I've only played it for like 10 minutes, I think I hit about 150 shots and I barely got anywhere. <laughs> Can change the strength of the uh, shot as well. I kind of like this. <laughs> Honestly. Especially for how little it cost, but also I think it's. Last time you came here, it was through the roof. Yeah, you said Good that. Luck finding Ugh! You Creepy doll. The roof. The thing upstairs. I got through there. Yeah, I think I did this last time. I had to hit 
you have to hit the uh this switch with the uh always a bit hard to get on uh. yeah this looks all <laughs> yeah I mean you know even full price this game is like like a pound or something like that. But while it's like ninety bah, while it's like ninety percent off, it's uh you can play this with touch controls which look better to me. But oh geez, much worse. I'm already at fifty shots. <laughs> that should tell you a lot. Ah go under the door. Hmm. I need to get up here somewhere. Definitely didn't take me 50 shots just to get to this point before, but... Ah. Definitely... I kind of like this. Ah. <laughs> yeah. No, I do. But it's definitely one of those, you know, if you make a mistake, you're back at the start, kind of. Like, getting over it. It's basically one of those. I'm surprised that's not on the So many other. Play for me, you're wasting my... I didn't have this much trouble with this the first time, but... Oh. That's okay. Ah! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Hard enough. Really hard there. Yeah, you need to be full strength, I think. Hmm. <sighs> trying to land on that, that's all. On that fan. I think you can move the camera. Ah, there we go. See what I'm doing. Yay, I got on there. Is he going to stay on there or is he going to fall off? It does look like a cursed call. That's it. That gap. Yeah. Great. Fresh air. Now keep moving. Is that is that robot voice that kind of sounds like um people are waiting for you. That guy Hurry from um Garth Marenghi. <laughs> Dave Berry is it? Dave Berry? Is that his name? Huh? Matt Berry, that's it. <laughs> A new shout. <laughs> I need to climb up there now, which is Yeah, I don't know why this uh, sort of robot voice kind of sounds like that but, yeah, to me. Yeah. Uh, I am playing this much worse. I've, all, I've almost hit the guy's score already. I've got to presume most people that play this probably... Oh, there's a little lip there, I forgot. That's it. You have to move the camera, it's very helpful. Not really sure why he has arms and legs. No! <laughs> Where did you go? Where did you go? What's happening? Oh, I'm on it. Oh, I'm down here. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Definitely one of those. Yeah, um, if he speaks again, try and li if you can hear him, see what I mean. It's a Microsoft Sam voice thing, but it sounds like that. But I don't know why. Got Matt Berry on the brain because he was in the new SpongeBob movie. SpongeBob movie as well. Don't go that way. Whatever you do. Oh yeah, I should change the. Uh, category on here if I can. Mickey the Home Alone Golf Ball. There we go. Ugh. 
camera's good, but it also seems to keep getting stuck. It's like you're getting hung up on. Come on. Yeah, I've almost hit that guy, the top score in this game, but I've barely got an enemy. Sweet. No, 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 no! No! What are you doing? There we go. Right. Take a strong shot up there. There we go. Thank you, camera. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, that Steam review is kind of amazing. It's like a bowl of oatmeal with nothing on it. <laughs> that's... I guess that's at. Yay, I'm on the roof. Nikki, let me give you some advice. Don't be curious. Don't be curious. Funny supermarket. <laughs> oh, what is this? Toast? Oh no, the bricks. Oh, they were toast. Now I'm just waste. I'm just stuck now. I don't want me to go anyway. Over these, these angry birds. Ah. You know, people are waiting for you. Hurry oh, up. Geez. You know, people are waiting for you. <laughs> Hurry up. You know, people are waiting for you. Funny supermarket. Ah. Definitely not going to get a good score. Did he hit 150? The idea is you're supposed to be able to do this with like, in as few hits as possible. But just beating it would be enough for me, I think, at this point. Uh, boy, the ball, dog ball with arms and legs for no reason. Go up that way. Wrong bear. But it was birdies. Birds. Now, what happens if a golf ball hits one of them? <laughs> ah! I killed it. I killed the birds. He exploded. <laughs> Oh, he exploded into like weird bits of dandruff. <laughs> Are those supposed to be feathers? Because they just look like dandruff. Like flaky bits. <laughs> I like how they just disappear. <laughs> it's like they explode, but then they disappear like a split second later. I think we're going to have to go up there now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. I don't. I, I kind of like this. <laughs> this is dumb, but I like it. Oops. Go on. Go on. Go forward. More birdies. I presume if you wanted to do a good run of this, you'd avoid hitting any of them. From the wires. Who knows what is waiting for you down there? Try and jump over the birds. <laughs> There's a lot of birds up here. Oh, more birds. <laughs> There's a lot of birds here. Oh god. Well, I fell down. Now what? Don't you even think about asking for a ride, Nikki? Ooh. The car! Oh, can I get in the car? The window that's going crazy. Ah! <laughs> I, see, I see what you're doing now. I see what you're doing. Hey, I got him. Watch out for the windshield. Ding! <laughs> I will send you the bill. <laughs> I love that ding. Dang. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do a load of this. And there's a bunch of furniture on top of the cars, just so you can't go above the cars. Oh, I almost got for both. 
I bet there's like really good speed runs of it. This seems like a speed run game where you just do accurate, perfect shots. Nikki, a friend of a friend once told me. I kind of want to try this with touch controls as well because I feel like they're easier. better. There's no saving either, so you can't. As far as I know, you can't save. But as soon as you turn this game off, getting on top of it with Bernard Footy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Why does this thing even have legs? I didn't get to hear what he said that time. Oh, up and over. Nikki, you smell like red roses. <laughs> red roses. <laughs> A little ting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, up there. Oh. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> it's stuck. He was wasting a load of moves is what he's doing. How do I get out? <laughs> Help! Help! I can't get out of this big corner. <laughs> I'm still annoyed that I pulled, paid full price for this. How much was this full price? Out of curiosity. I'm going to assume it was about a pound. I can't get out of this corner, by the way. I, I, I think I'm done. I don't think I can get out. <laughs> I'm stuck between a bin bag and a cup that I dropped down here. Well, I guess we're starting again. <laughs> I'll give it one more go. Hi, Nick. Good to see you are finally awake. Now, let's get back to business. We need you back to the golf club ASAP. ASAP. Not oh, Dave Perry. Matt Perry. Now, you Dave Perry. Matt Perry. There. Dave Perry, this someone else entirely. I think it was 99p, but that's 91p too much. <laughs> yeah, why buy a game for 99p when you can buy it for 9 or eight, rather. See if we can do a bit better this time. Last time you came here, it was through Why? The roof. Why? Why did I just take two shots for no reason? No, there. The roof. The thing upstairs. See if we can do this bit without it taking a hundred goes. Ah. There's something weirdly addictive about this. I get why people like these kind of games now. Even though they're, they're designed to annoy you. <laughs> that you can't get a perfect shot. Oh, no! 99p is for the oatmeal with topping. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah! Oh, I don't know why, but this feels like the worst jump. I don't know why. Getting onto that fan is. So far, the hardest thing. <laughs> Get on there. Ah! Get out of the way, football. Unlike you. you. Don't have arms and legs. Unlike you. I'll stop playing this. Stop playing this. I'll stop playing. This. Oh, this section is the worst. The worst part of the, level, the game so far. I'm sure it gets much, much worse. <sighs> Just hitting the edge of it. There we go. Get out there. Oh. Yes. Don't fall off. Don't Great. fall down there Fresh either. Now keep moving. Time is money. Is it? You know, 
People are waiting for you. Why are people waiting Hurry for up. this golf ball with arms and legs? Is he going to a con is he like a star of a rock band or something? Like cool spot. <laughs> gonna play in a band. It's the lead singer of a band of balls with arms and legs. Nikki, let me give you some Ah be curious. Alright, that's that game. <laughs> that's that's Nikki the golf ball, whatever it's called. Nikki the home alone golf ball. <laughs> uh it's 8p. <laughs> it's 8p. Speaking of 8p. Did I mention there's a lot of games right now that are 8p? In oh wait, this one I haven't even got a title for. I have to write this one. I haven't even wrote this one out, so I'm just gonna have to type this one in. But they're all they all end on December 1st and they're all 8p. Did this I bought them because they're at 8p. Whether they were good or not, we'll see, I guess. Let's get the pile in. Ant gravity. Tiny. Nice generic type for you there. But they could have. Do you get what I did? It's at. It's an ant, but it's anti gravity. I've beaten A level. Speaking of oatmeal without toppings, <laughs> this is just a bowl, probably without ant gravity. I see what they tried to do there. Yeah, tried, tried. Like anti gravity, but it's not. Hitting level two, we already did level one. Tony's adventure. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. His, his name's Tony. Yep. This actually has motion controls. If you really want to, you can tilt the Joy Cons to rotate gravity, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'll just just press the shoulder buttons. It's much easier. Yep. That's what this is. Hey, who remembers new grounds? Who remembers playing games on new grounds? <laughs> like, again, it's a P. <laughs> I'm not going to complain too much because it's a P. Yeah, it's Tony. What if this one has a category? I would be surprised. To be fair, everything I've tried has had a category, so let's try it. See what we get. Ant. Yep, there it is. Ant gravity. Ha! <laughs> it's amazing! Every single game I've ever tried, no matter how obscure, has had a category on Steam. Oh, this is with stink lines for some reason. Oh yeah. Bikes. Oh, that's the level. Oh, okay. That was the whole level. The tutorial level was actually harder. Crap game, but it's 8p. Five stars! Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely bottom of the barrel stuff. But it's 8p! I'm not going to say I hate this. <laughs> Not offensively bad. It's just a video game that exists. Another video game that exists. Do this. Oh, well. Oh, well, he died. He died and then he. <laughs> And his body's still there, it's just dead. <laughs> this music load. Mm. Ah. <laughs> yeah, 
as I say, there's a whole horde of... Basically, there's a whole horde of games, all from the same publisher, who I think are Brazilian. They've just pumped out a whole massive sale of games. But AP or pop. Whoa, almost died. Almost died. Almost died. I'd rather play this, honestly. <laughs> I think I'd rather play this than Fortnite. <laughs> If I'm honest, like, this is just a chill little platformer where you can occasionally impale an ant, rotate things, and you, your checkpoints are stink lines, I'm not sure why. Murder him. <laughs> I wonder how many of them I can pile up. Just pile up loads of corpses. <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's just... It cuts out weirdly the audio. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah, just... All these all these brothers are all dead there now. I think those games like Fortnite bore me to tears, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. Yes, ray tracing. That's all this game needs, it just needs some ray tracing. Oh, I did that before. <laughs> I don't know how this ant has the ability to manipulate gravity. Or maybe the guy that popped him in here is moving the level around for him. Oh, <laughs> Dead now. Dead now. I say, it has motion support. You can do that. And it kind of works. Mostly works. Any... Does it have to be... I'm trying to get the motion controls to work, but now they're not. Look like a fool. <laughs> this fun, guys. Fun, fun, guys. You see what I did there? Because there's a bunch of mushrooms everywhere. It's fun, guys. Fun, guys. Yeah, I'm not using motion controls. They seem flaky. <laughs> I would still be, if I made a game like this, and it's been flogged off for 8p, and someone came along and slagged it off, I'd be like, mate, it's 8p, shut up. <laughs> I'm proud of this, I made this. I oh, know, he's gonna die! <laughs> I would be fine, if, if I made this game, I'd be like, yeah, I made this game. Look at it, it works, it functions, it isn't horrible, it's not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I find it hilarious that the game that NVIDIA constantly uses to shelf ray tracing is Minecraft. Probably because it's like, one of the few games you could probably, you can play easily with ray tracing without your computer completely cracking it. My friend! Oh yeah, I forgot you can right stick to look around. Why that isn't just up and down on the character, I'm not sure. I think it's because you can do it while you're jumping, I think. Alright, make the game horrible to play. I want to see what happens when you get hit by one of these. Ah! Oh no, corpses! He died twice! <laughs> what happened there? Ah! Do their bloody bodies just sit there? Ah! Oh! <laughs> just dead corpses. 
Oh, these poor ants. Look at them. His death was so horrible, he died twice. <laughs> Demonetized for cruelty to ants. Yeah, they're all this animal abuse. Let's hit this checkpoint at least. Why does he die twice? <laughs> like sometimes he dies twice, sometimes he doesn't. I... Like corpses everywhere. I'm like... Uh. <laughs> I like it just fades to the uh oh god. Oh my ah! <laughs> Violence and gore, this is not suitable for children. No way. Not not any chance in him. I am subjecting my future children to this. Oh. Let's start. Why is it walks out there? Yeah, let's go on a big adventure! Let's go on Tony's adventure! My name is Tony! This is my adventure, and now I'm dead. I want all the candy. I want all the candy. I think candy. I think candy. Ah! <laughs> well, I got the candy, so I'm fine. I had to sacrifice an ant to get it, it's fine. Oh no, I didn't get all the candy! I need the candy! Ah. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. I'm enjoying this far more than I should be. Get the, get the pudding or whatever it is. Alright, let's do uh, two more levels and then we'll move on. Because <laughs> it's almost 8 o'clock and I've still got more to go through. So maybe I'll just make this the last level. <gasps> I can push boxes! What happens when I move it? I die. I was hoping the box would move with me, but it didn't. Oh, I can do that. Oh, it does! Ah, ah, see, look, it's getting interesting now. You were slagging it off. Ah! <laughs> you were slagging it off. I'm not slagging it off. I think it's great. <laughs> I think it's actually perfectly fine. Like, I would maybe play through this once, and maybe never again, but at least I will say, Hey, I beat this game on my Switch. <laughs> well done. What am I it that way? <laughs> See, it's getting devious now, it's getting harder. It was like a game that would be included in a 90s PC game compilation for kids. In the clearance aisle, in the shops, pretty much. I mean, it is in the clearance aisle at the moment. <laughs> it's in the clearance aisle of the eShop, so there you go. I, I'm trying to suss this out. They want, they want me to food. Ah, oh, the, the whole level is spikes. It's become Rayman. If I time it right, I can actually land on that box as it comes to it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know how I landed on that box. I think I'll land on that box. <laughs> Killing him in every way. I think I jumped and then turned. Eh, wow, <laughs> almost. That's it, that's it. Now what? Yeah, there we go. Now yeah, we've got it. Don't, don't touch these spikes. There you go. <laughs> I thought it was going to kill. Oh, that turned the gravity automatically. What happens if I do this? Ow, my head! Ow. Nothing happened. That's what happened. Oh my. That way. Ah! No, I've got the old thing again! Steam review. I love it because can use gamepad. I mean, 
some some Steam games don't let you even do that, so I would I'd be grateful with that. <laughs> There are plenty of games that should have gamepad support on Steam that don't. Get on the box! There you go. Ah. <laughs> I think if you want to see the end of this level, you have to buy it for 8p. 8p if you want to. I think it's. Yeah, the motion controls are, do, are killing him for me. Maybe if I impale enough ants on the spikes, he can just walk across them? Like, just walk across all the corpses? But no, I don't think so. I would have shut this game off by now. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to shut it off now, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah. What else have we got? What else have we got? Also have this one. This is called Valentina from the same publisher and it is also 8p. <laughs> You're gonna start seeing a pattern here. Lots of games for 8p. Normally I'd only feature games that I legitimately think are amazing or very good or at least decent but today I'm showing off games that are cheap oh, Dark game, this is your character Go The game I have tw oh, I have limited arrows, I didn't realise Valentin Valentina! The castle has been attacked by the Empire of Darkness! Our soldiers attempted to stop the attack, but they took your parents. Your brother assumed the kingdom, but he are not going to save the king and queen because he are afraid for a trap to take the entire kingdom of... Grail Forest. For 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 <laughs> You might have noticed this game is not by someone where English is their native language. I shouldn't be taking the mic. Now Joel, Joel, Joel the Fool is... That's probably a word I'm completely mispronouncing because it's Portuguese, I believe, this game. Is going, is going after the spirit of fire, trying to save all kingdom alone. Right, so I've got two choices out here. I've got, I know that I ran from the castle, but I need to save my parents. That's a sentence. Or, I'm going after Jao before he do commit more madness. I think we'll go with that one. Oh, it's John. Oh, okay. Yes, this is the Portuguese game I was showing you. He have that madness that will impress me for coming a great night. I said thousand times that I'm against wars and fruits. But he don't listen to me. Please, Valentina, take care of the forest, and the forest could be full of monsters. Take care of the forest could be of monsters. Oh, okay. That was fun. I love the punch noise every time you jump. That's great. No, it's actually great. Dark. Wait, I've got no bows anymore. Hey, what happened? I thought I had bows. Oh, I've got different types of bows. It's like Breath of the Wild. Exactly like Breath of the Wild. There we go. Oh, oh, we dropped some bows. Ah, I got my bows back. Sweet. Okay. We're going here. There's a slime. Look the slime. Look at me. I seem to be earning slimes. Yay! Okay. One. Oh, adventure. I seem to be profiting on arrows, which is nice. It's... I didn't even know these games. Outside of Nikki the golf ball thing, I didn't know any of the... or Ubermosh. I didn't know of these games' existence until, like, yesterday. Ooh. Ooh. What am I doing to this mushroom? Ooh. Ooh. Mushroom physics! <laughs> Not quite as good as bread physics, but we do have mushroom physics. Mushroom physics! 
I like how I've lost most of my viewers on Twitch now. <laughs> They're almost all gone. Oh yeah, I should uh, I should tag this game so people know I have played it. If it even comes up. I think I finally found a game that's not on on Steam at all. Yep, this game is not on Steam at all. Uh, Twitch rather. Yeah, I like how my viewers have like completely gone down the toilet. <laughs> Why are you playing this? You should be playing Fortnite. So much better. Oh, I accidentally changed arrows again. Ah. Yeah. Getting with that default font. I don't know why, but I keep thinking if I press the shoulder buttons, I'll rotate the level. <laughs> I'm thinking of a totally different game. Doesn't have my accent. Oh, potions! I presume they're health or magic? Probably magic. Oh! Oh, there is health, okay. They're like health backs. Okay. I'm your one and only viewer on YouTube! Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, is that a door? I barely see it. I think there's like two people watching on uh, Twitch and one of them is Stacey downstairs. <laughs> Yay, this is going to do my average viewers good. <sighs> Out oh, okay. That brought me into a town, I guess? Mushroom physics. On platform. On platform. Yeah, man. Oh, yay. Everyone got scared away with the ant impalement. Yeah, that'll be it. I'm going to say straight away this game is better than ant gravity because it has mushroom physics. I'm going to shoot it. Nothing. Oh god! Woodman! I don't know where those are. Ah, he looks like Captacular, but he's wood instead of cactus. Have to block this guy. Oh, we. Got. I've also got spam bots. I always have spam, spam bots, they're my best friends. <laughs> Green coins. Oh, they're really tiny flowers. Oh, they're the world's tiniest flowers. Look how tiny they are. Like, they're barely visible, but they're down there. It's just like really shrunk down pixel art. Yay, more potions. Look, if I had made a video game of this caliber and it was released on a Nintendo Switch, I would be pretty chuffed. <laughs> I would be pretty damn chuffed that I have a game on a Nintendo system. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, look at that! It's got arrow physics. Whee! <laughs> That's cool. The arrow jumps for joy for being on a platform. If it makes you feel any better, I, I used Nintendo points, so I didn't actually technically play anything. <laughs> that, that makes you feel any better about my purchasing decisions. What can you buy for 8p? I'm getting more enjoyment out of this 8p's worth of video game than... Oh, there's a person. What say? What are you doing here? Oh, is this the brother? Kingdom of Grell Forest. 
are being attacked and our rulers was took. The Prince Valent is too coward for take some action, so someone have to put an end in put an end in this monsters. Alright. I know that's crazy, putting ends in monsters, but someone have to try get the spirit of firepower for fight against these monsters. This power will combine with your weapon, making it the most powerful. Hey, that's a sentence. And for your look, I believe that you came after him too. Yes. Yeah, um, that'll be because it was... That's because I'm also streaming this on Twitch. <laughs> if anything, it would be better if you were watching this on Twitch, because then my average viewers would be better. <laughs> Just so you know. I'm literally streaming this to YouTube just so it immediately gets backed up on there. <laughs> ah! I should have landed on that flat. Look at that skeleton with no legs. I'm back here. I've already spoke to you, it's fine. I presume it just checkpoints you, that's alright. At least I don't have to start again or anything. Yeah, that, that spam bot was on Twitch, not YouTube. Let's actually jump on this platform so I don't just fall in lava down there. Oh, that's Gunton. So sad. I just assume these uh, these Twix bars are gonna fall into the lava. <sighs> Labyrinth going on. Oh, Skelly! Oh, the Skelly! <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> he just fell through the floor. <laughs> Alright, bye Skelly. <laughs> it was nice knowing you, Skelly. It was a nice Skelly. There's another Skelly. I'm gonna catch ya! I'll bone you! <laughs> Look at him! I love his walk cycle. He's now dead. There's a door here, apparently. <laughs> I tell you, I'm telling you, I have. I have not had this much fun with 8 pence. Ever. <laughs> What can you buy for 8p? Tell me. Tell me what you can buy for 8p. Other than other, other games on the Nintendo Switch that we have played today. Or, you know, probably loads of games on Steam. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. For how little it costs me, I'm enjoying this. Oh, I'm back here, aren't I, where the lava was? I if that skeleton is going to fall through the floor again. Oh, these skellies are so sad looking. I'm hanging, hanging above lava, it's horrible, and I don't even have legs. Oh wait, wasn't there a platform that went up? When? Maybe this isn't the same area? Oh, it is. Oh god. Oh! Oh, oh okay, it just took me up there. Okay, fair enough. Yay, thanks for that. Keeps my average up. I need to keep my average up for when I do actually eventually hit. Uh... Again, I haven't had any followers on Twitch, so no one gets to see my follower notification thing. Ah, come on. <laughs> I seem to get most of my followers when I'm not streaming. Like when I'm just watching other people's streams, they tend to follow me then. Not so much when I'm actually streaming. <laughs> Which is. whatever. <laughs> Go through that door there, or should we? Oh yeah, I can. Well, this is a labyrinth level, I can feel it. Then that took me back to the start. Oh god, it's like quack shot all over again. Yep, we're doing this again. Took me all the way back to the start. That's cool. A labyrinth. Oh. Let's skeleton down. Where did my skilly pal go? That door. Oh, he was up here, wasn't he? Still here? Oh, I think I killed him for life. Kill someone, you kill them for life. They don't come back. I'm also running quite low on arrows, so I need more skellies to show up. Don't go through that door. 
probably don't go through that door either. Oh, is there a trap door? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I love him! I love the skelly. Arrows! I need arrows. I'm out of the arrows. Oh, that's dark. I can barely see a thing. The arrows! See that jumps. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oh wow, loads of arrows! Ooh, I've got 25 of these arrows, whatever they are. Fire arrows? Gonna be my guess. Alright, let's soon find out. More mushrooms. Only this mushroom has mushroom physics. Oh boy. Thank you. I still haven't eaten this. <laughs> I've eaten most of it. <laughs> yeah. Watching, you are currently watching the only game that I've played on Twitch that doesn't have a category at all. Like, I played a bunch of super obscure Sega Saturn games, and there are still categories for them. But this has no category. I think we should change that. I think we should we should request that Twitch makes a Valentina... Valentina uh, category. It must be done. Then people can speedrun it. I have some of the other arrows. I've only got two of the other arrows. Ah! I pressed the wrong button and it drowned. Well, <laughs> that was very, very uneventful. It just kind of happened. What I can hope with this game is these assets were actually done by the creators of this game and they weren't just asset flips from the store. Because there are a couple games on the Switch that are literal asset flips. Like they're based on like free to download Unity things. And they basically just use assets. I just hope this isn't one of those. I'm going to assume it's not because at the very least, the art style was consistent-ish. You know, outside of the varying pixel sizes. Outside of that, everything looks like it would have been drawn by the same person. But there's like a rip-off of Game Beasts on the Switch that literally just uses asset flips. None of it was created by the person. At all. <laughs> This isn't one of those. I'm gonna say it's probably not. But I wouldn't like to think that. Alright, let's not drown this time. Yep. I wanna make a game, put it on the switch and set it for 8p. Ah, oh, I missed some good stuff up there. I wonder if you could bounce on me. Go on, bring up. We'll jump. Do something. Oh, it's just a mushroom in the wall. Okay. Ow. I don't know when this game saves. I'm going to assume it's when I hit these arrows. Yeah, probably. Open my inventory. Oh yeah, it is a fire arrow, I guess. Or is that the orange one? Uh, yeah, okay. Not a lot of options. 
Let's have a look at the... Yeah, see, it's got these languages here, like Brazilian, Portuguese and stuff, so that tells you. Alright, that's Valentina. We've still got a few to get on with, so let's get on with it. Got... Let's play this one. This one called, I forget. This one is called Cosmonauta. I think it's from the same developer. It looks very similar, it sounds very similar. But it's a different kind of platformer, I guess. Let's see if this one's on Twitch. I'm gonna say probably not, because when I looked it up, I don't even think these were on Steam. Oh wait, is that it? No. No, oh, there it is. Yep, this one has a category. <coughs> Best thing about this game is walk cycle. <laughs> He's really, really pumping it. Right, this level was quite hard. Oops. <laughs> I need that platform to come back, please. Ah! I died. I could not beat this level last time I tried, because I kept dying to this boulder. Let's try again. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. What? Oh, there we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Stack it! Stack it! <laughs> Oh boy. Can I jump on the cannon? Oh, this is nice. So yeah, in case you didn't know, this game is also 8p. What's this? Oh, it's a platform. Okay. Looks like a spring. <laughs> YouTube doesn't even list some Dreamcast games. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I was shocked. Some of the Saturn games I played that oh boy some of the uh saturn games i played like um monster slider actually had a category because they classed the arcade game i think twitch's game uh list is a lot better than youtube's oh boy at least it checkpointed me here so i could try this as many times as i want there we go plus these neon donuts yep. Oh, I haven't eaten all this stuff. Ah! Oh no, lasers. Oh boy. Don't like you. <laughs> uh, he wants me. No, no, no. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of fun. I, can't, I don't hate this. This is actually quite enjoyable, this one. Ow! <laughs> There's not a lot you can get for 8p in this world, but you can get this. But if you are so inclined, you can get this. We'll get enough enjoyment out of it to warrant 8p. So that. There's 8p's worth of video game here. There's more than 8p's worth of video game here. Let's not be silly. <laughs> Oh boy. Yeah, man. Uh, there we go. Stuck it! Oh boy. Oh Christ. I don't know how many levels there are. I'm on level 9. I'm gonna hope there's more than 10. <laughs> I think there's more than 10. I can almost guarantee it. Ah, they follow you down the corridor. Music's free. Got you. Ooh, that was close. What was this? 
Jetpack! Jetpack! That looks like a nose. Doesn't that look like a nose? It looks like one of those noses from WarioWare that you stick fingers in. Get it. Oh! Oh, Jesus. You have to hold this for quite a while before you want to, because the delay on this jetpack is quite harsh. Oh, yeah, this takes some getting used to. Ah, jeez. Oh, and it's got limited use as well, so I've got to take that into account. And there's another one there, so they obviously want me to chain them. Ah! Oh! Oh, it checkpointed me there. Okay, fair enough. Not complaining. Wasn't, I just wasn't expecting a checkpoint. If anything, it would be better if it didn't. It would make the game harder. Give you more to work for, I guess. Oh boy. Missiles. There we go. 11. No! Oh, well, that's just a bottomless pit. Okay, noted. Oh. Wait, what happened there? I sort of jumped in midair. Oops. I like the music cycles about as well. So you're not just listening to the same song over and over again. Ah! Well, I wonder if you could speedrun that. Not that there's a timer or anything. But... Speedrun strats! No. <laughs> You cannot. You cannot. Ah! Ah, oh, for crying out. Oh! Wait. I can sort of double jump sometimes? I don't really get what's happening. Whoop. No! Oh! <laughs> I should not have done that. Ooh. I kind of wish it didn't checkpoint you mid-level. I feel like that kind of takes some of the challenge away. Mind you, I can't remember if this had like... Oops. I can't remember if this had like an easy mode and a hard mode or not. I don't think it did. Speedrun strap! Woo! Oh, wow. I just... Yeah, I kind of wish it wouldn't just randomly checkpoint you in the middle of the level. Because I feel like that kind of takes some of the challenge away. But, it'll do. <laughs> yeah, see, it made that a lot easier. I didn't even have to think about it. Oh, did that miss up? Oh, wow, that just spawns immediately. Ah! Oh, no, popping blocks. Popping blocks. Oh. oh no! Destroyed my platform! Oh Christ, you really have to. Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> wow! Okay, this is harsh. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Popping blocks. Ah, what are these? Oh, it just pushes you downwards. So. Ah! Come on. Gammon. Gammon. Are you gammon? We're going to be red. Yeah. We're going to be red. Red physics! Let's just look real quick. So we're in level 14. There are 65. Not a bad amount. It's a shame they couldn't fill this screen 
but there isn't just five on their own there, but that's not a bad amount of levels. That's like... Let's have a look. Let's calculate it. But there are 65 levels, right? Wait, no. Not what I want. Want zero point zero eight divided by sixty-five. So that's. I don't know if that's right. Actually, it's zero point zero zero one two three zero seven six nine two three zero seven six nine two pennies. But not even a fraction of a penny per level. Right? Yeah? <laughs> Are you sold now? You sold on this game now? Right, what else we got? Have uh, this one. I don't have written down on here, so I'm gonna type it in. Fine. Because it's also 8p and it's also from the same publisher. It's also till December 1st. There till to December 1st for that price. In about a month's time, they're going to give these away for free or something, aren't they? <laughs> oh, let's try hard. Move. So this game's kind of like that ant one, but it's like you're this boy and you have to find a girl and not get killed by things. And the level just kind of rotates by itself. Don't really have to worry about it. You can also jump. Fall off the level. <laughs> like that. <laughs> it is. Jump at her from an angle. Always nice. I want to jump that girl from an angle. You tried. Oh, I wonder if I could jump at her from here. Jump at her from the side. <laughs> Sit on her face. Yeah. That was a switch. Ooh. I don't know what it does. I literally played one minute of this before I uh, got on stream. I'll just jump out of her face. Jump out of her from here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just sit on her. Um... What's going on with this audio? It's got loads of weird. You can hear like noise. You can hear like people and stuff being shoveled around. You hear it? There's like a weird noise. That's like a... It's like this is an actual live recording or something, and there's like people making noise in the background. It's really strange. It sort of loops very poorly. You hear it? It's like... I don't know if there's anything down here. <laughs> Why he dies is really gross. It turns into this blobby mess. Can I not just jump at her from there? Trying to get hard in there. Oh, hang on. Jump like that. Yeah. You get it. Ah! <laughs> not there. <laughs> not there. Again, I'll be surprised if this one has a category, but let's find out. Let's find out together. Let's find out together if this has a Twitch category. Him and her. There it is. It has a category. Level 11. Hard. So far, I haven't noticed a difference between easy and hard. It seems almost exactly the same to me, but... This way... Yeah, there we go. This should probably make a platform appear somewhere. 
<laughs> a noise. Freaking me out. Here? Ooh. So what did that lever actually accomplish? I don't assume it accomplished something. Oh, I think there's a... Ooh. This is kind of devious. It's like devious puzzles. Don't hate. I can't hate a, devious, a good puzzle. <laughs> Oof, sorry, had to lurk. That's alright, no worries. I don't mind. Uh, right, how did I get to that switch? I think I went down this way. Oh. Yeah, can you hear this audio? It's a bit spooking me out a little bit. Like making a noise. Ah! Oh, I did it again. Oh, I think I could have jumped to her from there, actually. No, for sure I could have done. Did I do this? I think I went that way, then I jumped down here. I still can't quite get to her because there's spikes there. Huh. Oh, we'll go down here. Yes! Yes! There we go. Lady is mine. <laughs> and then her. Jump down here. So the only way to flip the level is to go into the corners like that. Okay. Jump on there. Yeah, I'm not really seeing the difference between e Ooh. 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 You're doing weird physics. -y. Oh, wait, no. Bikes there. Can't go that way. Can't go that way either. Something in the middle. Ah, yes. Okay, good to know. Yeah. Oh, annoying me. <laughs> oh, good. I think this is one of those games I'd have to play in I wonder if I can reach that. Could the only solution here. Jump down. Maybe. Alright, so you definitely need to jump down here. Go there. I actually don't mind this. This is actually quite fun because it's a puzzle thing. So I, I like puzzle things. There's a few puzzle games amongst it. So a bunch of games. I don't know. Accomplished anything? I don't think it did. Not accomplish it. I like a good puzzle. This is a puzzle. Struggling to figure out what what way to go here. Oh, the trees are a clue, are they? Can I move the camera around? That would help. Ah, what if I? I was, isn't it? Uh, how can I go from here? Yeah. Ah, yes. There we go. That. Do I need that? Ooh. Ah, the spikes there as well, so I can't go there. Find a way. Ah, oh, bugger. I didn't see those spikes. Now I've got to do it again. How do I do it? Right. Way. Yeah. Yes. Oh no! Ah, I did that again. Bum. Right. Again. So it was around here. Around here. Jump there. No. <laughs> that, that was what I was supposed to do, but not land on the spikes. Oops. Ah! Yeah. 
I messed it, mate. Ooh, this is harder than it looks. Pretty sure it was here. Yes. Then you can use the switch. There. Come back down, I think it was. There was a new platform somewhere. Just land on that. Yep. Go, and then you can just come down. Wee! Pfft! On the red. Oh, there's a ball. Ah! 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 That's spooky. I presume, depending on how you jump in that, it will take you to a different place. Yeah. Oh, oh god, now there's enemies as well. New mechanics are being introduced. That's good. Glad. It can't, it's, oh, this is getting more complicated. Reveal. Yeah. It's not that way. Or that way. Oh, actually, it doesn't matter. Hmm. I need to jump at this at the right angle to prevent him from falling. Oh! Does that make a difference? Ah! No! <laughs> Off he goes. Off he pops. That's okay. No worries. Don't mind as long as you know, someone's lurking. I don't mind. This one I'm playing at the moment is called Him and Her. It's kind of a puzzle platformer. It's about 8p and I'm actually kind of enjoying it now. But this audio is kind of getting on my nerves. The fact that it's got like this noise in the background. Ah, oh, I did it again. Yeah, can you hear that little fud? I don't know if anyone can hear that. Oh, it's in the nutty. Angled. Not that. Gravity shenanigans. Ah! I've got to say, this game does the whole gravity thing. Better than the end game. Gotta say that. Ah, this way, this way, this way. Yes, there we go. That I was making that look a lot more complicated than it was. <laughs> One more level. I don't know if I can jump at it. <laughs> nope. Oh, there we go. That do. I think she's right below me, so. No! <laughs> I could have beat that if I was just aimed right. Go here and then jump. Ah! ah! Speed run strat, if I can get it right. I don't even need that one. Be... There we go. Speed run strat. Does that count? Oh, yeah, this is a different. <laughs> good, good first attempt there. I'm going to say, if you're going to buy this game, maybe mute the audio, because it's driving me mental. <laughs> I can't stand it. It's just this... Oh, there's a mute button right there. Oh, that's silent. Yes. Well, that's that, that's him and her. It's 8p. Like a lot of the... most of these games, it's 8p.
Right, I think I'm going to wrap up with, I think there's like one more I want to show. I think I've done most of them actually. There's like two puzzle games, including one I haven't even booted up yet. They're kind of like chess games. And I got stuck on one of them very quickly. This one, or was it that one? Played. 8p! Yes, 8p! You can add this to your massive backlog. Must. Never play it. Oh, Night Swap 2, that was it. So many games yesterday. Ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I haven't tried Hang the Kings yet. I haven't even tried this one yet, so all I know this could just be a top of mayo on the screen for 30 minutes. We'll see. I have not even tried this. And the Kings. Or oh, Hanug, Hanug the Kings. That works too. Right, but this one, from what I saw from the trailer, is you basically put chess pieces, but you have to put them, the king has to be the last one. This is clearly a mobile pool, it's got the pause button in the corner, stuff like that. That's a weird looking piece. Yep. <laughs> Loud or is it just me? Like louder than the others. Ah. Oh, I can move the board. Oh, bad. Oh, is that wrong? Restart. Ah, okay, now already I'm immediately in trouble. Ah, okay, uh, now I'm already immediately like, what do I do? I just need to know which, which piece is the... Did you have to... Huh? I'm already kind of confused. Put that one in that one. And then I can't put that one in that one. So... Ah. What? Oh, the music is pretty loud. Music sounds like a jump scare is coming. Yeah, it really does. As I say, I haven't even tried this one yet. I... I am very confused. Why can't this one take these ones? I haven't really explained this word too good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You put that one in that one, and that one in that one. Yeah, okay. That's the solution. You put that one in that one, and that one in that one. That's that's the solution. If I, if I make a game facts for Hang the King, that will be the description. Put that one in that one. You put that one in that one. And then you put that one in that one. Get it? 
That's how you play Hang the Kings. You put that one in that one. They should have just called it that. They should have called it. They should have called it. Put that one in that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. There we go. Spooky. Oh boy. Now we. Now we talking. Okay. Yep. Okay. I have I have mastered Hang the Kings for now. <laughs> Until it gets much harder. It's probably going to do very soon. I kinda of wish all the pieces weren't the same colour. Kind of making it a little bit difficult to option. Yeah. No options. Ah. Alright, I need to look at this carefully. one's going which. I can't really tell what they're supposed to be. I know they're supposed to be chess pieces but they're so abstract I can't quite tell what one's meant to be which. I presume these are like... That seems too simple. Ah! Nope. Wrong. I have not mastered this. Ugh. Yeah, the fact that they're all the same colours really making this hard to even. Can you just put all of them in that? Nah. Wrong. Uh, lucky level 13. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna be streaming some Atoms, Atoms Wave, Atomus Wave games in 15 minutes. Okay, cool. I will see you shortly. Uh, yeah, I'll probably be going till about nine as well because uh, I'm gonna be raiding Murray Curry. He's gonna be playing some Steam World uh, Heist. Plus this. Oh, I'll put that one in. Hey, there we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> there it was. Did you see it? Did you see the follower thing? Thanks for that. Thank you, Flatpak. Surprise. Ah, oh, okay. Didn't realise I hadn't followed you as the pack. Oh, cheers for that. Yeah. You finally got to see the animation. <laughs> Alright, where do I want to put these? Uh... Ah. I think they were just going there, weren't you? But no. I'm confused. I am so confused. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> what do they want? Can these both go in these? These go in these. These can go in these. So put that one in that one and that one in that one. No. How come you can only. <laughs> I can you can only put one of those in one of those, but not the other one. Okay. Yes. Put you in there. Okay. That was the solution. You put that one in that one and 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 that one. Ah, you missed it. Ah, I just I'm just about to get more followers. I have to get more followers. I hope the audio came through. I should think it probably did. Oh, what? Wait, what? Ah! Okay, now I'm really confused. These are all the same piece, aren't they? What? What? Now I'm really confused. These are all the same piece. Right? They are the same piece. 
Maybe I'll have to remember which one's been in which. I've... <laughs> this is, um... This is confusing. Alright, so that one and that one. But that one in that one. Oh, but no. I'm gonna put that one in that one, apparently. Again, I feel like this was made for touch controls. I feel like the. Okay. That works. That doesn't. That one in there. No, did I mess it up somehow? Ah. Uh, <laughs> help me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so puzzled. What's this one again? Uh, this one's called Hang the Kings. There's actually two of these games that are very similar looking and just as confusing as each other. That are both 8p. I was just like, oh, I like a puzzle game. But this one is confusing the hell out of me. But I can get all of them right until then. I... Ah. <laughs> I don't get this. I don't get why some of them can go in some, but some of them can't go in some. I don't know. But no, you put it in the wrong one. You did it all wrong somehow. Oh, then put. No. Can I go back a move? Is that, is that a thing I'm allowed to do? No. Alright. Alright. I think I'll leave that one for now. That's Hang the Kings. That's what that is. <laughs> right, there's one more game that I have that is 8p. Very similar to the last one, but we'll play it anyway. Very similar. We might as well plough through these so you can see what you can get. This one is called... By same publisher, same developer, Night Swap 2. Night Swap 2. No Night Swap 1. Oh, it's put me straight onto the third level. As you can see, this is a very similar thing. I should probably, if I can, go back to the first level just so you can actually get a gist of what this is. Oh crap, I better set up. Oh yeah, of course. So, this one very similar but the aim of this one is to get them facing the opposite of each other so like that that's that's the basic gist of it oh i had my eye on this yeah this one is very deceptively difficult like i had trouble with literally the second puzzle I can't put that there now. I can put it there. Yeah. How did I do this one? Nope. How do I restart? How do I restart the puzzle? I wish these games had some form of controls like explained to you, but they just don't. Ah, there we go. There we go. Obviously, this one's even more so like chess than the other ones, and you can only put them in certain places. Link's Awakening puzzles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of. Uh... Well, I'm gonna assume if I do that, I can't. These ones, but. No, that's fine. Yeah, I, I messed that one up restart without using a touch screen. There's a restart button in the corner but I can't press it. What are the controls? Ah oh, there we go, it's uh, minus. Minus. Right, let's not do what we did last time. Maybe I should on next. For now, well, you can go in there now. Can he go over there? 
Where can he go? Can he go anywhere? <laughs> he can he go anywhere? This this is probably beyond me a little bit. Ah, hang on. Nope. Nope. Oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. This is not the kind of game you stream. It makes you look like a dumbass. <laughs> I'll put that one there. Why not, mate? Be there. There. Put you there. Put you nowhere. There. But why can I not put you there? Is it something to do with chess? I don't understand because I don't really play chess, so I don't know what you want from. Me. Why can't I move this one? Nope, still can't move it. Uh, help! <laughs> I don't know! Oh, knight moves in an L shape only. Oh yeah, that would explain why it's not. Alright, let's start that again then. I don't play chess because I'm dumb, so... I don't think... <laughs> Yeah, I'll get you now. Yeah, alright. Now that I know that, that might... Think about it. So there. Hey, there we go, there we go. And now he's got to move there. Wait, no. I was like, yeah, I got it! And then I was like, no. <laughs> nope. Not even close. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. Like, there's definitely, a, again, for 8p, there's something here. Like, if I can learn this and not completely suck at it, that would be great. Oh, that was restarted. Never mind. I could put that straight in there, but it might block on these ones. Hmm. This was another 8p one. Yeah, basically every game I've been playing uh, for the last probably hour has been 8p. <laughs> like, there's like... There must be like 8 games on sale for 8p right now. And honestly, some of them are alright. I'm absolutely terrible at this one. <laughs> uh, brain. Brain can't take it. If I move him. There. Oh, this is it. Get him in there and him in there. But then they're the only two to do. Ah! <laughs> ah! Right, well, that's that. <laughs> it's level three and I'm already stuck. At least that means I'm going to get loads of time out of this if I actually. Do one more crack. You have it? Wait, I have it? Oh, did I? I had it! What do you mean I had it? I couldn't... Hmm. Well, now I don't have it. <laughs> so I was basically one move away from beating it and then I, I reset like a dumbass. <laughs> oh no. I actually had it and now I don't have it and now I've completely screwed up and now I can't remember what I did. <laughs> move that blue next to the red again. Right. 
the van out. Be calm. I can't believe I was so close to doing it because it looked like I'd done it. But then I thought I could only do two moves, but apparently I could do a move. Ah, wait. Is this where I was before? Go there. <laughs> Devious. Quite good though. Gives my brain a good workout. Two for one. I'll just make him dance. I can do a little. Screwed it, haven't I? I've screwed the pooch. I screwed the pooch, I mean, screwed the horse. Okay, so. Go there. Ah. Oh, okay, cool. I'm probably gonna wrap up this stream soon anyway, because I pretty much featured all the games I wanted to feature and a few extra. So, there's that. I would like to beat this before I end the stream, but I don't think it's going to happen. I'm pretty much putting them back where they began. Yes, that is exactly what I'm doing. There. 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 get them two in, it's these two I'm having issues with. <laughs> Don't use any TM phrases now. <laughs> what? Oh no! <laughs> I can't believe I almost had it. I actually can't believe that. That annoys me because I, I I pressed reset before. Hmm. That's about as far as I can get. I can get Oh wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Wow, this is the I feel so thick when I do that. Oh, of course it was that. Of course it was that, you bully. Absolutely was. Just keep into looping them back and forth. Love it. Somehow I need to get... Alright, get him there now. Maybe I should put it, keep him there. He still can't move. Put them back where they were. You there. Now he's trapped. Right, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it, I think I'm going to leave it, for some reason this is really dark, it's probably because I've got a light behind me actually, I should probably get a light over here, that would make more sense than how I have it right now, but yeah, 
Okay, that will do for this. Uh, for this, I'll do for this. Yeah. All right. That was this eShop key car, eShop car booty. <laughs> we played a bunch of games, and all of them combined came to less than four pounds. Pretty certain, or maybe just slightly above four pounds. I haven't actually calculated it, but I'm pretty certain it's about just under four. <laughs> GG. <laughs> yep, GG. I totally, I totally smashed it. I totally smashed that puzzle. It's done now. I beat the whole game. It's done. Right. Yeah. I shall see you guys another time. Next time, there's another load of games for sale, either ones I already have or games that I have just bought on the Nintendo eShop. Especially if they do games this cheap again, it's worth worth paying 8p just to stream them for an hour. <laughs> like, it's, it's fine. It's so cheap, I don't I don't really care. Oh, cool, that's your custom emoji. The guy falling down some stairs. <laughs> and like, one of those, what's it, signs? Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I will be off. I will see you guys another time. Yes.